Oh, I saw it with a club. I saw it with shape shifting, hexes, smoke. I was like, I saw it with a bit of fighting. And uh, I don't think a little club's that good. What skills do I have? I don't even have any skill with my club. Okay, I might just get unarmed uh, then. Hopefully, I saw it with some rocks, but I doubt it. I saw it with throwing nets, scroll teleport, scroll of fog. Slow spell memorized. I have inner flame available. All right. Uh, I might just claw things. It's almost certainly better than my club. 10 damage. That's way better than my club. Yeah, club doesn't have a chance of beating 10 damage. I really attack well unarmed? Of course. I'm a troll. Why wouldn't I attack well unarmed? Uh, I know I have no skill, but I should still be fine. I can protect myself from cold. I think the one of the earliest things that does cold damage is like an ice beast. I don't know if there's too much else. Oh wait, was there Paul of Vortex in the book I picked up? Hmm. And all the cubes refrigeration. How bad am I with ice magic? Uh, minus three. Hmm, okay. I mean, I could try and be a big brain troll with my eleven intelligence. I don't know, how hard would it be to get... I mean, if you went to Ash and Zari, maybe. In fact, I'm actually kind of tempted to go Ash and Zari. I know trolls don't have like, most item slots. I don't know, I kind of feel like... What other gods would I go with? Yeah, I kind of feel like going with Ash and Zari. Just trying to get my throwing and... unarmed skills up. I guess I also need fighting skill. What else does this character need? Ash is so fun. Yeah, I don't play them that often. I'm not a massive, like, fan of uh, cursing my equipment, but I think there won't be too much equipment swapping with this character, so that could work at least. I don't know, sometimes it's, like, completely painless because you don't really need to swap equipment, and other times it can be kind of painful. I want to get some strength. Lots of strength. Whoa. Can I just leave this bear to a bit later? I'm only third level right now. I feel like if I was maybe fourth or fifth level, I could kill this bear. Alright, there we go. Seal it in. Um, put an exclusion there. We'll eventually probably run around to get out of where I've put it, but by then I'm hopefully leveled up. What's up with this? Oh, it's Faded Altar. Come on, be an Ash and Zari one. Ooh, Ash and Zari is Shiny Widow Ignis. Yes. Hey, look at that. Ash and Zari. Uh, I don't have the curses yet. I thought usually when you got them all Faded Altars. Oh, there we go. Mally Combat, Rage Combat. Hold on, Rage Combat's good, right? Because that's Rock Throwing? Yeah, it's Rock Throwing. Um, Mally Combat is... Unarmed, right? Yes. So... I don't have much good to put this on. I'll just put on my core this ring, I guess. But it's a good curse, unfortunately not, yeah, not the best stuff. But if I had got a bad god, uh, well, there wasn't really a bad god to get off that altar. I mean, I could have got, like, uh, Ignis, in which case I probably would have had to wait until I got, like, Jeeva or something. Which still would have been fun. So there wasn't really a bad choice there. Ooh, javelins, not javelins, boomerangs. Um, still, still be I want. I'll get throwing at some stage. Am I fourth level yet? No. Oh, come on. I could probably kill the bear, but I'm not. Oh, whoops. I ran the wrong way. Not 100% confident. Um. Start with the. Oh, that didn't do nothing. Oh, yeah, I could kill it. Now I'm fifth level. Man, I leveled up a couple of times killing it, so it was definitely worth good XP. Did I set limits on these skills? Oh, just getting the fighting. Wait, what about the unarmed? Okay, I'm getting both of those. Why is it green? Wait, what is- oh, right, Ash and Zari. I can't- I keep forgetting about that. The Ash and Zari will, uh, buff up all the skills and make the buffed up ones green. Oh, that makes sense. That's how long it's been since I last played Ash and Zari, though. I probably can't do this one. It actually is under that rock. What a gold. There's no hurry to get the gold. I don't have any fire in this, so I don't think I can really go in there right now. Oh, uh, Rage Combat and Elements? Sure, whatever. 
I'll put that on my robe because oh uh, robe. There we go. I don't have anything else. Oh hey, lots of stuff identified. So I got teleport, poison, revelations, fog, a little bit of haste, cure, heal wounds. Yeah, I got some good stuff. That's the nice thing about Ashen Zari. At least your items will be identified pretty early on. I mean, especially for this character because they got a super early Ashen Zari. Oh, lignification. That's not bad. So I can turn into a tree and bash people. Beguiling devices. Um, can't put it on the boots because I can't wear them. I don't actually have a thing to put that on. What does it do? Shapeshifting evocations, translocations, hexes. Uh, hmm. Okay. It's nothing too special. But unlike Rue, you don't actually have to explicitly reject it. It will just eventually reset itself. Um, alright, I'll get a, just get a little bit of throwing, I think, going here. Might get it up to, I might just get, like, four for now. That's fine, I can step into this group. Do I care about the body side? I don't think so, I decided to stay unarmed. Um, I don't have a curare, but I do have a poison dart, which I guess is something. It's better than doing nothing against this ogre, at least. Okay, I've got a cold resist. I think the ice speed's fine. Hey, hey yeah, I like clawed in a couple of claw attempts. That guy's got a net. I'll just move up. Oh, I mean, there was an extra passage right there. Oh. Oh. I do a little bit of fog. Balls that centaur up to me. Ooh, that's not working. I might try to teleport. Do I need to drink a healing potion? I need to drink a healing potion, don't I? I mean, I was about to teleport out and I didn't kill the centaur, which is a shame. Introspection of fortune sounds fine. Oh, there's a centaur again. That was a lethal centaur. What did I have? Just a short bow? I mean, I guess it's on dungeon level 4. It's not the earliest you can actually find a centaur, you can find them on dungeon level 3. But yeah, that situation might not actually be survivable without Ashton Zari identifying all my gear, so I knew exactly what the healing potion was. I mean, I probably actually would have teleported out in time, but I wouldn't have known about the teleport, I guess. It's a plus 8 whip of resist- no, not resist electric, electrocution. If I was a rage character, that'd be good, but troll rage characters are so terrible. Like, I tried it for a while, just to see if I could actually do it as a challenge run, and I don't think I ever managed it. Um, like a troll hunter. I think I- like, I wanted a troll hunter, but I didn't do it ranged. I just eventually gave up, and, um... Okay, I might just bring the unarmed up to 10. And did it melee, and it worked. Pains of I'm still getting all these items I can't use. That's the problem with being unarmed, I guess. It's one less slot to put stuff in. Oh well. Wizardry? Oh, regen amulet. Hey, what was this? Uh, summoning translocation. Not that special, but I can chant up my amulet now. You know what? I don't care too much about this wizardry, so I guess I can curse it up. And now I can stay invisible. Nice. Uh, oh, lots of venom. Way too much venom. Hmm. I might try to read the poison scroll here. Just worried that I was going to sit there with a pole up or something. Mm, like that. Hey, there we go. Oh, wait, what was that item on the ground? Was it like a robe or something, was it? It was a... Uh... No, it was like a flail of the halberd. It was probably the halberd. That's net, isn't it? Oh, I've got to go up. Okay, misfits net, good. Wait, fortitude, cunning, fortitude's good. 
dodging and uh whatever armor and shields is all right mm, is that good enough to put on my regen armor which i'll probably keep it on for a long time so shields definitely good armor later on i'll need dodging is okay but not that important no, I think it's good enough. I'll put it on my amulet. And I'll get... Oh, actually, Dodding's already got a bit on it, so that maybe helps. Ah, Sphere of Pain. That's probably fine. That guy will be poking with me the whole time of fighting there. Alright, I'm just hoping for a shield. Would be nice. But usually you don't get them to a bit later on. I can't use a buckler because I'm way too big to use one of those. Am I just carry around the DGN potions? I guess I have because I, um. Yeah, I identified them with Ash and Zari. Alright, anything good here? There's lots of scimitars, maces, all the weapons, really, but it's not what I'm looking for. I think in theory you could use, like, a giant spike club or a troll if you want to, but I don't think it would, like, it would be that good. Because it would be really hard, to, especially now, with Metaphor Assault 7th level, to get Metaphor Assault going with it. Oh, Might's alright. Um, doesn't do quite as much with the trolls as it does for some of the other characters. Like, it did way more with that short blade character than I was playing last. But I should have used more might on that last short blade character. Uh, do I care about a base of Holy Wrath and Poison Resist? Hmm. It is Poison Resist. That's the only good thing about it. It's also a mace, which means it would draft, uh, reduce my damage a lot, because I'm doing 23 damage. Trolls always do so much unarmed damage, it's really good. Fortitude and ranged. Wait, do I have anything to curse? Nah. I need a cloak or something. Because Fortitude and range is actually good. Um... Because the uh, range does make me better at throwing, Fortitude makes me better at fighting, but that's alright. Ah, bear will get next to me. Oh well. I think I could kill a little warrior, right? Right? Maybe. Hmm. Actually, this is not going as well as I like. I might just put it. Oh, miss it with a net. It's only like sixty percent chance to hurt. Okay. I think I got both my deaths back, which is nice as well. Ah, uh, strength is it? Just strength is it? Like, my end's on 11, which is perfectly fine, and my deck's on 10, which is perfectly fine, so yeah, just... Int. Would I lose anything if I put in a Beast Talisman? Not at the moment. Can I curse a beast talisman? But I don't think I can. I think you technically aren't wearing it right. You just like activate it. Um, I don't know. Could be entirely wrong with that. Oh, how do I get in here? Do I have to dig? Someday I'm able to come back for the enchant armor. Because I can use that on a shield or body armor if I get some good body armor. Alright, no point in taking out the temple. I've already got uh, Ash and Zari going here. Don't uh, I don't even care about these curses until I find an item to actually curse up, do I? Oh, nice blinking scroll. I always like to see some of those. Oh, two headed ogre. Um, I still don't have the curare. Now, I might try and damage it with a boomerang. Didn't do that much. Ah, oh, it's gotta definitely gotta put this guy in a net. Alright, that's the, the trick. What do I want to get? Unarm's doing well. Fighting's doing well. Dodging doesn't do that much for me right now. Don't think I'll get into the shape shifting. I might just get like a little bit more fighting. Well, that's not really a little bit. A little bit more unarmed. I don't know. Oh wait, throwing as well. I mean, I can just kind of get all three of these at the same time. And just, yeah. Do 
The cars just come too fast. Yeah, they're coming fast with my gear. Which is not the normal situation. I mean, it sometimes can be the situation with Dash and Zari. Um... No, it's definitely... Hard to, hard to find things for them. Like, if I can find a better robe, that'll be nice. But actually, what do I need? I need, like, a cloak, and I need a shield. I think that's about it in terms of equipment, so I'm never going to quite max out my party, which is a shame. Um... Yeah, melee combat and companions, sure. I'll just go out to the staircase. Hey, that looks like a shield. Uh, to me. Which means I should probably actually just get shield skill. I even get 10 of it. Alright, uh, kite shield, my attack delay is 0.7, which is actually pretty good, but it's probably more than that, actually. It's basically 0.8, more is perfectly 0.8. Let's try on the shield. 0.9? That'll do. I mean, I feel like I probably need a little bit more shield skill to make this worthwhile, but it will get there pretty soon. Alright, the acid dragon scales are actually better. What was my robe right now? It's uh, range and elements. Range is nice, but I think I'm going to have to blow it up, unfortunately. Because um, it's nothing. And just put on the armor. And now I just need to get a curse, but it's going to take a little while because I blew some stuff up, so I lose my curse. I don't need the armor. I still need another staircase up, right? Which is one right here. I might just kill this dude, actually. No, I'd try and damage it before it gets to me, because I know they can be a problem. Now, they're generally just a problem when you get, like, a group of them guard uh, guarding Josephine or something. Oh, I'll so march to that level. Yeah, this armor is definitely worth it. Uh, do we, no, we don't need a chart weapon. Beguiling companions. Wait, that doesn't sound the most useful. So summoning Hexes Translocation. Might hold off on that one for a little while. I'm just not sure if I should actually enchant my shield or not. I probably should, like, uh, curse it up. Just be, it's just not, like, enchanted up or something, but I'll probably find a better shield. Uh, sorcery? Introvert Spatial is fine. That's like fighting and spellcasting. I don't know if I need the Conjuration Alchemy, um... I might dump this on my Dragon Armor anyway, and I'll keep, uh, there we go, it keeps my Mind Clare. And then I'll hold out for a better curse on my, um... Shield, I think. Alright. Oh, there's a troll in here, another... Well, the type of armor you can wear is a troll's like a troll leather armor. Can I have a second skin? That's not what I want to see. Oh, it can shoot me from where it is? That's a good chance I can have to type one out of here, I think. Uh, in fact, I might start that now. I do have a lot of... Oh, wait. I have three acquirements on me? When did that happen? <laughs> Okay then, uh, Nash and Zari let me know about them. I want to look at the first one. A Hat of Willpower, Guardian Spirit, Heavy Trident. Okay, the Hat of Willpower sounds pretty good. In fact, the Hat of Two Willpower. In fact, that's another thing for me to cast. Uh, no, I won't quit myself yet. That guy's got Ice Blast. Alright, there we go. I can put it on. Um, what was that curse? I don't actually have one on offer right now. Let's see what another one of these requirements are. So we've got a larger tang or a robe of decks or a magic regen. I mean, the larger tang does, oh, 33 damage, but it's slow at attacking. I already do like 28 damage. I'm catching up with that pretty quick. Oh, uh, it's two handed, but I was one handed. I like my shield. So I don't think the larger tag makes any sense. Yeah, the magic regen doesn't make sense. Robe doesn't make sense. I'll just go out the money on that one, unfortunately. Um. Tower Shield Reflection. Now that's pretty good. Ooh, Ring of Fly Resist Electric minus Cold Resist, 6 Strength, 6 Dex. That's also decent. I don't have the skill for that shield yet, but when I do have the skill, that shield's probably worth that. Um... 
Okay. Can I paralyze the centaur? Yes, as it turns out. Tower shield is probably the tank. Yeah, it's gotta be, right? Oh, hey there. Hey! It's over large rocks. Hey, look at that. Four large rocks. Uh... Nice. That's exactly what I want to see. Now I can throw those at people. Like, hydras and stuff. I thought he did a little tense. I think I was actually a little bit earlier. All of a sudden, there were more rocks in the weapon chopper or anything. Alright, where do I want to go? I mean, dungeon level 11, right? I don't think I've even seen the... Oh, I have seen the left. But I'll still do dungeon level 11. Fortune range combat. Yes, please. I can put that on my hat, because that's really good. Because that makes me better at throwing, and it makes me better at fighting, which are both things I want. Um, okay. Let's go blow up my wizardry, I think. Wherever that one is. Kind of hard to tell, because it's got all the other things on it, but... Yeah, let's blow that one up. Uh, I kind of like to be able to swap one of the rings. I don't know, but maybe I should just. Uh, oh, cuz out the ring anyway. Can I just pull this guy in a net? There we go. Yeah, shields is on ten. Um, I'll get fighting. Yeah, fifteen's fine. Get the unarmed. Get the throwing. I don't think I'll get that shield just yet, but it's definitely tempting me. In fact, I might just, um... Reduce how much unarmed I'm getting a little bit. Uh, reduce the throwing as well. No, not the throwing. Right, another three-headed ogre god. Valley combat introspection, that's not bad. I can put that on, um... I'll put it on my poison resist rig. Because it's pretty good, I think I'll be keeping that uh, poison resist ring on. What's my other one? Like a protection from cold or something? Hmm, that's my only protection from cold right now, though. Gee, how's that throwing going? Might just go get the throwing first. Because that's going to help me out against Hydra's. Oh, there's a statue form. Hmm, I don't think I get the statue form. It's definitely an option, it's not a bad option, but I think I want to keep to try to throw rocks and stuff, I don't know. And the uh, rocks I think throw a little bit slower in statue form, but it's still not bad. That's beguiling sorcery, that's not that useful. That's more for magic characters. Ring of poison resistance, willpower, minus five strength, there's also ice, which is not ideal. I don't think I can put that ring on. Um, probably don't have to care too much about the willpower because I do have two willpower already on my hat, which is pretty decent. And uh, it's definitely enough for the lair, at least. Um, sorcery devices. I should get some sort of, like, uh, skill in my evocators at some stage. I think devices, shapeshifting, evocations? It's fine, but I was gonna, I was gonna not do that. All shapeshifting things this time around. Actually, I don't care too much about this guy, right? Zero percent, is it? Two percent. That's petrify. How many lignification do I have? Like five or something? Because those are really good against the sky shots. You just lignify and then they can't uh can't drain blood off you so they don't go berserk. And also as an unarmed character, I do so much damage I think well lignified. Uh Okay, I might throw some rocks at this guy. Yeah, I feel like oh there's something bad there. I feel like Cat of Leaf is not um one of the things is actually a threat to this character. Hold on, is that the entrance to my swamp? Which means it's probably guarded by something fairly bad. Oh yeah, it's definitely the entrance to my swamp. How do I lure those bad guys out of there without causing any problems? Oh, I like that curse. Rage combat fortitude. I'm gonna have to put this on my kite shield, which unfortunately I'm gonna eventually break, but it will do for now. 
Oh, that's mine already. Um, yeah, definitely link to fight here. Yeah. Oh, they just want ones because that wouldn't be too bad. I mean, they can like pull you in, which they did. But I think they looked a whole lot worse than they were when they were like biked in red. Although there's a hydra in here as well. So they could potentially be multiple hydras. Oh yeah. Well, it's one hydra. And it was probably the leech was probably the other thing that was marked in red. Ooh, it's a minotaur. Which, uh, I love how Ash's Zari just straight up tells me where the minotaur is. That's going to get me too surrounded. I hope we can get back up the staircase because you can't always... Um... Nice, that's exactly where I want to be. Right next to the Minotaur. These are just yaks. I think my inventory is fine. No, it's not. Apparently it's filled right up. I still do need the Poison Dust because I haven't found the Curare yet. Drop the Reflector. I think the Arena is pretty good. Draw that Ring though. Poison Resist Willpower one because it's got the Ice on it which doesn't work. Um, well, right though. Saving the Acquirement for the Shield when I get enough skill for that one. Right, that's probably enough room. Let's go ahead. Do I know what the scarf is? The scarf of invisibility. I do. That's a fun thing with uh, Dash and Zari. Like, I know this is a cloak of rampage. What's my cloak? Oh, I don't have one. Uh huh. A cloak of rampage is not terrible. There's also a lightning rod if I go the other side, though. Man, okay. Oh, but I'd have to, if I want my lightning rod, I'd have to find my way through a Nequonks egg and get mal mutated. That's a little bit of a shame. But this side doesn't have that good a loot apart from that. Actually, the scroll blinking is pretty good, and the cloak's decent. I think I have to miss out the lightning rod, because I don't want to get myself mal mutated this early in the game, right? I mean, I got one chance of, like, resetting it, but I don't think I would do. I don't care about gloves, I can't use them. Unfortunately, it would be nice though, because they are hurling gloves. I don't even know why I'm pulling them out of there. Uh, I really don't feel like I care about the invisibility. Alright. Throwing is where I wanted, so I was getting unarmed, I was getting fighting, and once I was reaching targets, I get the shield, I'll put on a bigger shield. I think that's the plan. Okay, another thing for me to curse. What curses do I have at the moment? No curses, apparently. Uh... Oof, it's got javelins. What else it got? Plus 10 shots out of honor, which is freezing. Try to throw a rock at it. Ah, oh, did I miss? If I put it in a net, which I missed, of course. And then I uh, just claw it, I think. It should die. Yeah, no problems getting that Minotaur. Uh, let's identify, which I don't need because I was at Zari's enchant armor. Don't think I've got anything to enchant, but I might be able to enchant my, my shield once I get one of those. I think else I need, unfortunately, I can't get to the lightning rod. I probably can't get to that healing potion. Alright. Oh, I guess if I had gone to the Quagsic way, I would have actually had two uh, chances to reset my mutations. Had if I got some bad ones, because there was another potion mutation there. Uh... I don't know what's around this corner. Probably more elephants, maybe. Actually, no, those don't look like elephants. I'm um, getting Companion's Introspect. Introspect is fine. What do I have to curse, though? My cloak? I might wait for something a little bit better. Maybe some throwing or whatever. I 
All right, more dead elephants. I mean, getting through hearts of creatures is not bad for this character because they do have the well two sorts of regen: one for being a troll, and one from my amulet. So I should be able to. Well, I mean, I guess my defense is not that good, but I should still be able to hide in corridors or whatever fairly well and fight endlessly if I'm not taking too much damage anyway. Oh, let's throw some rocks at these guys. I do have the cold resist, thankfully. At least there could be a problem. Nope. The rocks of the face is a trick, of course. Oh, I must have lost a couple of my rocks over time. That's yeah, alright. Hey, protect us from a shaft, because that would have been actually a good chance to take me all the way down to left five. This is where the are is definitely paying off. I love being protected from those charms. The other people that get protected from charms are like Bobson's cunning devices. What exactly is cunning? Dodging stealth. Hmm. I will get the evocations at some stage. In fact, I should probably go grab some of that right now. Just like the first, I don't know, four points or something, because they do have minus three aptitude of the skill or whatever. But I do have the like uh, light ones. Ice Blast ones, Mind Burst ones. Oh, Diggy doesn't care, but they're still good ones. Oh, I lost another rock, did I? No. Ah, uh, whoops. Mistakes have been made, but I think I'll just back up a little bit. There we go. I think I just run up. Oh, maybe not. I got the flame ones. I might pull those out. Oh, plant in the way, of course. That's the thing about electric eels. Like, they can shoot through the plants because they have beam attacks, but I can't. Oh, that's rather close. Can I get this hydra further away? No, the blink's not that castable. It used to be kind of castable, but I guess I, uh, it's not quite as castable anymore. Hmm... 10 AC... Nah... Oh, whoops. I almost... Oh, I did get it right next to me. Okay. Light it with a bit of light. Not moving back, so I'll just throw some rocks at it, I guess. Yeah, that was a bit questionable there. If I had been careful with that water to not bring the Hydra into it, I would have been fine, I think. Cutting introspection. It's alright. I might put it out of my cloak. There we go. Hey, Gravitabrine. I love those Gravitabrines. They're so fun. Um. Yeah, you can use them to pull enemies away from you. It also does a bit of damage. And it holds them in place for a little while as well, which can be useful. That's probably enough for that staircase. I don't want to go down there to the plants too much. What if I could just like kill the plants with rocks or something? Maybe. Because generally not like a great idea just to run up next to those plants. Because uh... then if you need to escape, it's kind of hard to escape. You know what? I'll try take one of these out. Oh, that's going to get both of you. Try to take one of these out with a rock. I just hope I'm not uh, giving it my rocks. Well, there's multiple of them, of course. I think I had to get both these in view at once. I probably should have done this with the uh, boomerangs, to be fair. <laughs> so that if I didn't manage to kill the plants, at least that'd still be fine. Like, I, I would have to go collect my rocks or something. Alright. Although, with the acid uh, resist on this, actually not that bad at all.
Twenty face doesn't really do anything with Ashen's hour, he does it, no. Um I thought it meant he got offered curses slightly more often, but maybe it doesn't do it that either. Uh I think I can run up to this one because it's not that far to run. And I have to determine that they can't kill me that quickly. Alright, what can I drop? I can drop the scarf. I can definitely drop the gloves of her. Like, despite the... Oh, did I get Curari? I can drop the poison darts as well. And I could probably... I'll go drop the granite talisman. I know it would be nice, but... I'm not gonna go uh, statue form this time round. Sorcerer and Companions? What do I even have to curse? I don't think I'm- I think I'm out of stuff to curse. But I don't think I ever get anything to curse, do I? Yeah, I'm missing like a little bit of pie- Ooh, AC's not bad. What am I using? Cold resist and poison resist. So AC- no, I can't quite put that one on. It would be nice though, but no, I should probably keep my current ones, um, intact. Uh... I do have a proper choke point. And running back to this choke point isn't that much of a big deal because I'm kind of rejecting at the same rate. So those guys are even damaging me. It's like a mini elephant graveyard. No, it's the orc scales. It's just not anything like an elephant graveyard. Because you do get the elephant graveyard uh, vault that just has all the elephant skeletons. And then of course lots of elephants guarding them. This... Riding out to fight multiple death yanks maybe not the smartest thing. I probably should have tried to pull one of those back. Alright, that's a troll shaman. This should be fine. And they're guarding. Well, teleports are always good. I don't know if I need to resist corrosion. Why am I resistant to corrosion? Is it just my armor? I think it's just my armor. So I might eventually need that. Oh, it's resist electric. A minus strand? It does have a bit of dex and intelligence on it. I don't know. I will eventually need to resist electric, so maybe? Hopefully by then I'll have a rig that I can swap out, like the cold resist one or something. What's the poison resist, depending on what sort of armor I get. Uh, think about the rocks, like they're really good, but they're a bit random in their damage. I still don't miss to cast. That was constantly coming in so fast, like, constantly noticing that I've got nothing to cast. Hey, what's up with this? Ah, it's an elephant. Um, Nezzle still doesn't have any willpower, so if I have, like, uh, Polymorph or Paralysis or something, it usually works pretty well. That's only 60%. Gotta hit him with a Vulnerability, because he doesn't target my willpower. And then I'll try Paralyze him. Ah, yeah, there we go. Oh, gonna merge, right? Unmerge, I mean, split. There we go. There should be a pile of rocks on top of Nazos' corpse. Got body of fire to this. He often has some decent body on him. Oh, hey, Oruk. Uh, Oruk's actually not bad. She's even like a source of javelins for me as well. Where did she go? <laughs> if I can find her, she was wandering around here somewhere. Pull her out of all this, all this muck. Um, so I actually got a l good line of throw on her. Although to be fair, I could just walk up to her and claw her. That would probably work as well. Do I don't need this curse? Entrance special. No companions range combat is decent. I wonder whether I got any non-decent ones left. Probably not. Manticore thinks that uh, traffic in place is a big deal. Forgot about my rocks. I should probably just head to the Orkish Mines. I mean, I'll do the rest of this level. There's not much left to it. 
Uh... Wait, what? Did I not have a limit on my fight egg? <laughs> okay, let's quickly put a limit on that one. Uh, it's fine, it's just got a bet I don't like. Hey, thanks for subscribing there, Buttons, with your Prime sub. I appreciate those ones. Oh, I definitely appreciate that one. How are you going there? Range go. Oh, it's the other cards I want. So many cards I want. I'm trying to attempt me, Ash and Zarya. I don't have any equipment slots. That's a nice little trope, but I think. There we go. Okay, 18 with the fighting. So I was going to get the shields up to, like, I don't know. I could try for 20, but it doesn't have to get all the way there before I go get myself a tower shield. How many enchant armors did I have? I had four. And it starts at plus two, so I can get up to plus six. Oh, doing some programming and enjoying a commentary on the second screen? Ah, yeah, that's, a, that's definitely a good way to watch streams, just like have them on the second stream. Something to, uh, screen, I mean, something to listen to. That was what I uh, tend to do a lot of the time. I think I'm just going to move back into my nice little choke point. Which one is distortion? I think I got to pull out the javelins if this guy has distortion. I don't think I can get it with like a large rock or anything. Did that actually die? I think so. Yeah, some of the javelins are just really effective. Go through a whole line of guys, leave them almost dead or dead. Hey, if I was a teleport trap, probably wouldn't have actually took, taken me anywhere because there's not much of this level left. That's still a nice avoiding one. Alright, do I have all three ways down? I even I even have an escape hatch. Uh What am I actually hoping to find for sale? Like, I've got a decent shield. I mean, I guess just more consumables. Well, I will have a decent shield. I haven't actually acquired it up just yet. Uh, ooh. Yeah, throw a rock at that guy, but it's actually doing quite a lot with it. What's it got? It's got, like, the... It's got the spell that blasts you back. What is that one even called? Bombard, I think. Um... Does this guy... Hold on, I had a robe of cold resist. I gotta check on robes quickly here. I've got... Okay, it's the only robe I've seen that's enchanted up. But it's not gonna compete in terms of armor class with the current armor I've got, which is acid dragon scales, so... I don't think I'll worry about it. Uh... Gotta step back here, otherwise I'm gonna get surrounded. I think I'll probably just take the bait to here, because this is a nice little choke point. Oh, ooh, those are tough. Um, if I throw a rock at the saucer and I miss, I might get the guy behind. Ooh, there's, um... What's the name? Nergel as well. I mean, I can do quite a bit of damage with Javelins here, right? Because they all lined up apart from Nergel. I probably should just do some damage with the Javelins. Alright. Where did Nergel go? I guess it doesn't matter too much. I might head all the way back to a staircase. I know the priest will smite me, but it's not doing too much. That's the thing about trolls. Like, you get, get so many hit points that the priest smiting you can be bad with, like, a ton of them, but not too bad uh, normally. No, it's Spectral Orc tiles. Yeah, I love the new Spectral Orc tiles. They look a lot more like Orcs than the old ones did. And it also makes it pretty obvious what type of Orcs they are, because they used to be sometimes a little bit hard to see if there was, like, a... I don't know, an orc warrior bashing you up a spectral one, or just like a regular spectral one, or even orc warlord, because, uh, I mean, Nergel can bring out the spectral orc warlord sometimes. I don't care about weapons, right? Even, like, demon whoops, I don't care about. 
Book of the Dragon, Book of the Warp. I don't know. Maybe a Book of Warp. I don't know. That's like a stretch goals using that one, though. Maybe a Book of Cantrips. Maybe some digging. I'll definitely get a Telebot. I like 3,000 gold right now. I've got crazy amounts of gold. But those are all like stretch goals, those books. I might eventually be able to get them with Ash and Zari, but hmm. Can I just cure Ari up the boulder beetle? Don't think it's the madness that these archers are trying to surround me. Not gonna do too much anyway. How good is my shield skills? It's going quite really well. 14. I think that's probably at the point. I mean, if I shatter the curse, it will probably go down slightly, but I think it's at the point where I shatter my curses on my current shield. Um, which is a nothing special one. It's got ranged. Okay. Force you, but oh well. Goodbye, shield. Welcome in reflected shield. Uh, I am going to chart this up. Unfortunately, I don't think I curse it right now because I still got to find two more enchant armor to max it out. I reckon it probably is worth trying to max out this shield. Whoa. What do I do against Jorgrad? Because I don't have a scroll of silence, do I? I'd know if I did have one. Um, I don't think I can polymorph him. He usually has pretty decent willpower. Yeah, he's got three willpower. Pipes in the petrify, I see. I mean, I could just... I could keep it back a bit with a poison scroll. And I could just throw rocks at him, because I got four of those. I've had him running low on the rocks, unfortunately. Oh, he just moved up, that's fine. He'll get poisoned. Ah, good. Another poison scroll. I don't know... Wait, do I know which Labras I got to swap into the spiders? So I probably don't need the poison scrolls too much. Although they can be good against spiders. But they're really good at the... Uh... Shoals against Krakens. Vice's range combat. I mean, I would grab that curse if my shield was maxed me enchanted. But those are both decent stuff. Oh, um... Is that the actual Thunder Hulk? No, it's low dial. That makes sense. Man, I wish I had some fire resistance so I could just emulate all these guys, but I don't think I should. I think that would be a terrible idea. I mean, I do have a ring of fire resistance, I just can't swap it on. This may be a bit of a problem. Okay, so I can, uh... I can damage them all with Gravitambarine. That's not a bad idea. But I probably could have just clawed my way through all those guys um, just fine. Two more levels of the dungeon, then where am I going? Got a choice between. Oh, I need fire this. I really do. Do I have another cold resist ring? Not yet. Do I have another poison resist sauce? No, not yet. Okay. Man, that makes a, a tough choice of which ring to blow up. In order to put on some fire resist. Unless I got some armor of fire resist. But I don't want to lose my cold resist either. I don't know. I guess I should. I could probably do a spy disc. I don't really need fire resist for that, do I? Throwing rocks at this guy, even though it's right next to me, because uh, I don't want to make it grow ahead. Uh. You gotta stand back. These guys should open that door. There we go. Because there's gonna be plenty more guys behind these other doors as well. So this is my entrance to the vaults. So I tell Stealthy I've been here. The surely, like usually, these all four of these doors just fly open as soon as you get anywhere and near in here. And then all the creatures just try and surround you. Now these guys are even, like, being helpful and pushing me out of there and stuff. Uh, don't care about the ring mail, and I don't care about his plus zero kite shield. What's my attack delay anyway? Point eight. So it seems like this shield that I currently got isn't slowing my attack delay too much. 
All right, weapon shop. You've got a giant spike. It's not even a magic one. I mean, in theory, you could want one of those, but the only chance is pretty low that you'd want a non-magic giant spike club. Because there's already so many around on the floor with most characters. Uh... That's not Kawaru also, I don't care about that. What I do care about is trying to take out the Catableepus. Kind of staying back and boomerang it because that seems to be a pretty effective way of killing it. If I just go this way, I can get myself better surrounded, which is actually good with the slime creatures. Um, all right, down with dungeon level 14. One more level of dungeon, and then I guess it's the spider nest. I've got 176 health, so I don't think I'm going to get one shot by, like, Orbs of Destruction, but I still got to be a little bit careful with them. Ooh, good. Ooh, two enchant armor. That's exactly what I needed. I can max out my shield. What curse have I currently got offered? Malign Elements. Uh, I mean, Malign's good, but I don't think I'll take that curse. I'll wait till I get a slightly better one. Well, it's great being able to um, curse up my shield again. And the shield's pretty much going to be my end game shield. Uh, ranged and beguiling. What was beguiling again? Hex's translocation. Hmm. Because range is throwing, which is exactly what I need. I don't know. I think I might wait till I get something slightly better. Because I seem to be getting these curses pretty quickly. I am poison resist. I don't care about the swap dragon sneaking up behind me. It was probably a shape shifter anyway. Right. Yeah, I can't think of it. It would just be the thing that would naturally be on this level. I suppose it could be. Uh, I gotta get out of here because I don't have any fire resist. Yeah, um... I just exclude off that door so I don't accidentally go back in there. No, it's like fire traps that came out of the wall are actually like reasonably lethal sometimes. Uh oh. I want to be set on fire. What have we got? Dangerous Friends, Manual of Starves, Irradiate Yars. I mean, Yars, maybe eventually. I won't grab it right now, but it's uh, another thing to add to my list of maybe eventually spells. That would be one that if I got Death Talisman going, I'd want to grab. Um, but apart from that, probably not. How am I going with the rocks? Am I up to 13? Okay, that's all right. Yeah, let's go to the spider nest. Uh, I dropped the reflection shield. I don't think it's that important because I'm kind of relying on. Ooh. I kind of rely on the shield for the reflection. Um. <laughs> Do I have some roots or something that I can use to make this guy easier to head? I don't think so. How much would the Ice Blast do? Ooh, not that much. I might just try Claw it. Hey, the Claw did the Spike Wasp spin. Oh, introspection and companions. Again, it's one of the curses that offers like some stuff I need, but not that much stuff I need. Because I don't think... I think companions are like Necromancy and Summoning, and neither of which I need. Actually, getting put on a net's kind of bad, or a spider web, because I lose 27 shield value, which is... That's more than both my other defenses combined. Okay. I try and bring the... Moth of Wrath around this corner. Or everything else, I guess that also works. Either way, it stops the Moth of Wrath from berserking up the enemies. I wonder what's in here. There's like a, are those orcish idols in the 
spider nest? Is this like the little forge area that was like the negatively enchanted weapons or something? Plus zero rapier, plus zero longsword, plus zero fortune. These don't look negatively enchanted. No, it's just like a little orc outpost. It's not quite the one I was thinking of. Do I have fear? I must have fear, right? I've got four fear scrolls. Because those can be quite good if you get uh, landed in a web. Like, you go downstairs and then you get webbed up and you're getting beaten up. Cunning range. Range is good. Hold on, what's cunning? It's um dodging stealth. That's somewhat useful. I might get this. Yeah, let's put that on my shield. Uh, bad diving. Well, I think I actually already had all the various god effects. But it brings my skills up a little bit at least. Getting this curse. Yeah, how am I with throwing? What do I stop on? 16? That's acceptable. Oh, why did I throw a rock at that guy? It was right next to me. It does really matter. I think my claws might do a bit more than my large rocks, though, at the moment. Yeah, how much damage do I do? Do 43 damage a point eight attack delay? Whereas my rocks are... Uh, 65 damage with a... Where was the attack delay on that thing? 1.3 attack delay, roughly. I just had to throw a rock to find out what it was. I don't know where it lists the attack delay. It should list it there. And it does attack... It does list the min attack delay of 0 0.7 if you happen to get your throwing skill all the way there. But I'm pretty sure I've had a trollish baluster already, so there's no point in maxing out my throwing skills by first thing to be maxed out, maxed out. In fact, I should actually check out what troll titles I've had. Um, so I've had Wrestler, Brawler, Deadly Accurate. Oh, Deadly Accurate is definitely a throwing one. Disciple, Drop of Water, Hawkeye, Shapeless, Transcendent, Trollish Baluster, yeah, I've had it. Trollish Barricades, I have Shields. Trollish Blade, because I got the Log Blades one. Tycoon and Wallbreaker. Wallbreaker was a special one to do with, like, was it Conjuration or was it Spellcasting? It was something like that. I'll throw a rock at a right knee. Um, I don't like how the Sparrowa Ants is coming along. I just, oh, don't hold me in a web. Might just teleport out of the situation. I think I've got to split them up. Like, keep on getting webbed up, which is causing me problems. Because the Ragni does do the whole webs, I think. And it was also one of the little jumping spiders also putting me in webs. Range combat and counting, I mean, that's fine. But I don't think I've got to think to curse anymore, do I? That's like, you curse my hands, but I don't think that's a thing. If, if you did, like, curse your unarmed, how would you ever, like, uncurse it? Because you can't exactly just break your hands. That would be a pretty bad idea. To remove the curse. Alright, there's a rack there. I'll throw some rocks at her. And that's level 2 of the spider there. So I've got 2 more levels. This is like going reasonably well, I think. Uh, yeah, it definitely doesn't feel like a disaster that's constantly going through consumables or sometimes something like that, because sometimes they do feel a bit like that with characters, but trolls are usually pretty tough. Although at this point in the game, they're not like quite as tough as they are early game, because you don't get, well, the best armor. So I'm running around with like 10 armor class or something. But with this big shield, that's not that big a deal. Oh. I've been slow. What do I do? I can get this guy with... I might just get it with a grab a tambourine, but I'm not sure how much that helps. I'll try to kill some of the other guys, but... Okay, slow is gone. I think I'm fine. I don't have the resist negative, which is why that uh, ball draining soon quite a bit to me. I almost feel like resist negative is something that should just like have one pip. Maybe that doesn't make any sense. But I feel like, uh, I mean, there is some benefit to have more than one pip, I guess. I don't know. 
I guess it gives the Shining One something special to give you three pups, but it's generally pretty overkill having three pups. Um, because the thing where you would need it, which is Torment, it doesn't do as much as it does for the other effects. Yeah, I feel like if it was, um, if it affected Torment more often than, like, more amount, then it would totally make sense to get more than one pip of resist negative. Stay where I am. Hold on, this is not the best. Actually, I might just back up into a corridor here. There we go, that did the trick. Because otherwise I was going to be out in the middle there getting, like, uh, corroded up while... I don't know, I got surrounded by simulacrums or something. Am I immune to a confusion? I'm pretty sure I am, right? It's an Ashen Zari thing, you get the clarity? Because I definitely haven't been getting confused, which has saved me a lot of curing potions going through here. I seem to remember that would be a pretty important thing for, like, mummy characters. Um, like, getting their immunity to confusion because you can't drink the curing potions. Right, so shields are burning into me. What do I want to get? I'll get, like, a little bit more fighting. Oh, I'm definitely actually lacking the unarmed, don't I? Hold on, I might stop the fighting. Let's just get the unarmed to, like, 20. Oh, H Corrosion? I'll try back up a little bit. I think it's going to be fine. Yeah, I'm not losing health, am I? So I can just give back you up till the corrosion goes away. Or till I get to the staircase. There we go, now the corrosion's gone away, and I'm only fighting half the guys. Do I actually have any cancellation? Because I might be able to just use that to get... No, wait. Oh, I do. Three. If I, so if I really need to, I can just drink a cancellation to get rid of corrosion. Uh, this is my... Hold on, this is my rune, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. I might just, uh... Exclude that door and go do the rest of the level just in case I had to teleport out. Man, that guy's regenerating faster than me, that demonic crawler. And I'm the troll here. That's kind of funny. Oh, there's two entrances into the boss chamber. Oh, well. I've done, I think, basically everywhere apart from the boss chamber. I'll pop it open. Alright. At least it gives me a choke point, which is kind of nice. Can I blow some of these up with fire? Don't even have, like, any fire resistance. Probably a... No, it'd be, it'd be an unwise idea, I think. But I can't get them with javelins, because I am in a corridor. Man, those javelins made, uh, made quick work of guys in the corridor. I love how effective javelins are in corridors. I actually quite like throwing characters, but the problem is, like, um... You never get enough throwing weapons to make a character that's, like, completely throwing-based. They always have to do something else. Like, this character's got the old claws as their main weapon, and then they do throwing as kind of their rage attack. Oh, the Scarf of Resistance that gives Rampage and Resist negative? Were they wearing a Scarf of Resistance yet? I was wearing the Rampage Cloak. So I lose a tiny bit of armor class, but that does sort out my fire resist. And it gives me a resist negative, which isn't actually terrible either. I think I just blow up my cloak. I think that's just kind of better. I'll probably go down to 9 armor class, though, but yeah. Uh... Okay. I lost an evasion probably from... Oh, I'll still need a scarf for this since I got a better one. I lost an evasion, I think, just from uh, losing skills and various things. This is a good spot for some javelins. Ooh. Oh, there's too many ghost moths. No, I've got to teleport out here. This is just too much stuff. Okay.
If I just stand back here, it should be fine. Ugh, come on. At least this guy's draining so we're like half damage or something now. But man. Can I get to that choke point? I think I can. Do we end up with like six garage or something terrible? Um this looks like it's such a javelin situation with everything lined up like that. 12 corrosion. That's with resist corrosion on as well. Okay, come on. There we go. War off. If you take off the resist corrosion while you're already corroded, does the amount you're corroded go up or does it stay the same? I'm actually not really sure of that. I haven't really experimented. Um, I keep backing up to the choke point again, but oh, I'm stuck in a net again. All right. Okay. How's my health going? It's going okay. These open sort of endings to the spider nest always uh, got a lot of creatures in that you've got to try and pull back, otherwise you're in big trouble. That's just a scarf of shadows. I feel like my current scarf of resistance might be my end game uh, cloak at the moment. Wait, can the spark wasp get, uh, can get berserked, can't it? Hmm. Might just try to kill the moth of wrath, there we go. But that might have, hmm. It'd be kind of bad if that would go berserked, I mean, I'd be trying to teleport out of there, but I might have had to do some other stuff as well, okay. Can go to the swamp, because I got the fire resist now. Got the cold resist though, I'm missing the resist electric, but I got everything else. Yeah, it's definitely better to go to the swamp than to go to the vaults. Ooh. I yeah, fox fight and stuff. I might just go upstairs. Uh, probably don't need flight on in here. Not that I think I've got some flights I can swap on anyway. But I could go through the shallow water just fine. I don't think there's actually a lot of deep water at all. Oh, right. Still hydras. Um, I just throw rocks at them, I guess. I'm not exactly the best against Hydras, but I'm also not terrible against Hydras. Ooh, or maybe I am. <laughs> their claws, uh, not their claws, their Ted Susie had to do a lot of damage to me with my low armor class. Good. I like bringing the landovers away from trees. They're so much better with the rampage. You can just like rampage away from them. Uh, what's in here? Oh, is this a minotaur? No, it's the chaos crabs. Oh, that's probably fine. Okay, got a vision of a curse. Oh, I do need to curse something. Devices introspection is not bad. You know what? I might just have that on my cloak. Uh, oh, I can't have to this, dude. It's, yeah, it's just too well hidden behind all the summons to, for me to actually get to it. Wait, how did I end up here? So, it breathes chaos at me. Uh... Blast the uh blast the chaos engulfs you, you blink. Wait, chaos can do that? I guess it can do like the distortion effects, right? I guess so. Huh. Kinda wild though. I don't know if I've had that happen before. I've had it uh send you back to the well send you to the bus, but I don't think it can do that anymore. I think they got changed. I don't need the res uh, I might need the resist corrosion. I don't think I need the strength. Well, the flight, because I can't even swap it on in a hurry. I'll need a charm weapon for that matter. That's not going to be that useful. Yeah, I can't charm my claws. Uh, I don't think I need a robe of willpower, right? 
because they got the hat giving two, which brings you up to three puts of willpower, which should be enough, unless I'm mistaken. Oh, enchant armor. I don't actually have some armor to enchant right now, but when I get better body armor, I can probably enchant it with that one. Um... Oops, that's a high... Oh, did I throw that rock wrong? No, it stopped in an okay spot. Um, I should have been a bit more careful that rock throwing, though. Bring Mio Glotto upstairs, I think. It's Mitre, which I don't think is going to be a problem. No, there we go. Uh, I don't care about the mortalities, but it melts your body armor, I think. Which wouldn't be the worst thing ever, but it would leave me with no armor class, basically. Uh... This is actually not the best spot. I might try and... Hmm. Yeah, I might just, oh, I might just try to take this escape hatch because I keep getting like uh pulled away constantly there, which is a bit of a problem. With the willow, the wisp, or the water. Oh, hey, Roxanne, I do actually need to kill her. I've got a statue talisman anyway, and I was not planning on using it. So, oh, I need my boomerang out. This guy's above deep water, isn't it? Uh, this ghost got nothing I want, so it's Evo Beedle's ghost, the Minotaur fighter. They do forty damage. They actually hit for quite hard. I mean, I do like fifty damage, but still, they probably got way better defense than me, so I don't think I'll go fight them. And they're also not even really guarding anything. Just like a little bit of gold. And I've got way too much gold. I've got like four thousand gold, and there's only like a few spell books that I might eventually want to maybe buy. As things on my shopping list. Am I training up? Still the unarmed? That sounds about right. If I kill this friggin' druid, I might up the um, hydra. Might just throw javelins at both the hydra and the friggin' druid, but I'll probably kill the druid first. Ugh, I did too. Uh, well, it's going to be probably, is this level? No, it's level 3. It's not going to be a ton of Hydras. I thought I might be on the level 4 of the swap already, but no, I'm not. Come on, kill the Hydra with the rocks. Um... Is this one of the, like, the little prison type areas? It might be. I don't think it is. I kind of magic mapping it partly, so I can kind of see that it might not actually be. Alright. Slithers and Leia Noma woke up to me, I think. Oh, no, it's not a teleport trap. I just tried to pull it away from uh, the walls. Ooh. This is a perfect spot for some javelins, actually. Because if I javelin the exploded husk in the back, it will blow up and blow everything else up. Except that didn't blow up. It still didn't blow up. Um. Okay. Whoa, why am I so poisoned? I got the poison for this. Okay, but I can fix that up with a little bit of curing. It's got 100 health. Uh, I think this is fine. It's just Hydra fight, though. It's six-headed. I've already got, uh, like, 90 health left. I might just throw... Um, boomerangs at it. More hydras. The problem is, if I run back, um, I've taken the hydra through the water, so it's not really gonna work. And that that spring can eventually get to me. It's gonna have to travel through all that water, which is nice. Might be to hit it with a rock as it's moving up to me. Ooh, already thirty percent. Can I just get it with a net? Because I'm feeling kind of wounded. Fifty percent to get it with a rock. And probably it's uh, weird enough that it's probably worth just getting it with something else. Um, 
Oh, whoops. I was only meant to shoot that javelin. Yeah, I might be able to grab a tambourine it. Which cause I didn't pull the hydra back because I didn't have the hydra inside at the time. Um I think I could just take the one out with rocks. It's only four headed, so it's not doing much damage to me because uh my black max blocks per turn of four, so <laughs> Yeah, the shields do a pretty good job of keeping it out. Oh, base on them 17, that means uh buffed up's 20. That's actually pretty good. Okay, I'll get uh, a little bit more fighting, I'll get that to 20 as well. So I was just gonna go with I think an Ashen Zari title. Um Get a little bit of armor scale, get like five. See if that may, gives me another armor class or not. I'm not convinced it will. I might have to get like six or seven or something. Oh, this is too much stuff. I'm gonna, hold on, I'm going to teleport out of here because if I kill one of these, which I'm going to have to, it's going to mine up that alligator and it's also a. Uh... Ow. Yeah, it's a kind of mighted alligator. I should teleport any second now. There we go. Oh, don't stand near the tree, Landover. There we go. I love how the Landover did more damage to itself than it did to me. Used my reflection off my shield. Oh, I can't get this Landover away from trees. Well, I guess my damage is pretty good, so it doesn't matter as much as it could. I must have narrowly missed mining out that bunny up because it was uh, so close to be on the screen at the time, I think. Um... But I killed the druid. Oh. Wait, another sad Jasmine? It's like last game when I got four of the things. Um, I like how common they are. Wait, no, I've had two this game. Yeah, I got four last game. It said it's actually three this game because there's rocks in as well, so... That's a, that's a lot. No wonder the most common form to win it is like the statue one. It's the only one you can actually find. How do I do here? I've got Nicola up the front. I don't have a resist electric. Don't have a silence. Um. Hmm. I do have a polymorph, but I doubt that's going to work. I'll just double check those. Um, 1%? Nah. Might just quiver up mm, javelins because then I can damage a lot of the stuff. So I'm not too worried about the other creatures because if Nicola does his lightning, yeah, they just die. All right, I don't think he's got anything I need. No, he's just got the basic cloak and gloves on him. Alright, that's level 3 of this one. That one was a little bit slow to do because they're like bold in the center with all the enemies in it. Uh, but I imagine level 4 will be the slowest yet because it should have lots of things. There's a what? Dandu's ghost? A yellow draconian shapeshifter? Draconians are kind of fun as shapeshifters. Um, although they do like melt their armor unless they're in dragon form, right? So they probably they don't really do that much shapeshifting early on. Nicola is beefy, you imagine if he wasn't, uh, he'd kill himself too often? Yeah, definitely with his lightning, no. No, he's gotta be, uh, definitely a bit beefy to survive that one. Because he doesn't even have, like, resist electric. Um. Oh. Okay. I'm over here now, I guess. All right, level 18 is about right from where I am in the dungeon. I'm actually getting a decent amount of deep water. Like, around that staircase is deep water. There's another patch of deep water. Yeah, it's more than I usually see. Oh, I shouldn't claw this guy. I was, like, tempted to claw him for a little while, but no, that would be a silly flood. Man, I wonder how many things there are there, because I'm detecting tons of creatures. 
Like, what about those odds? I guess half of those might be hydras or something. Oh. That's not right. Um, I'll try to take out one of these hydras, but I might have to teleport out. No, uh, I think I do have to teleport out, because there's a moth of wrath. Which is not what you want to see when there's hydras around. Okay, go to the moth of wrath. Woo. Oh, this is not where I want to stop, actually. I want to do another teleport. This is, um, I'm looking a bit wounded. Can I just, like, do a little bit of heal wounds? Okay. I don't think I can actually kill that before I teleport out. Oh, come on, I should be able to kill this Hydra, actually. If I grab a tambourine this bag for me, it might help a little bit. And then I can just hit it with the boomerangs. I think I'm good to heal up where I am. And I did I did take out the Moth of Wrath, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, definitely half of that stuff there was Hydra's, um, trying to what's off to me. I just gotta stand back and get everyone with boomerangs, I think. Uh... I kind of a bit closer now. Um, now that druids come along, I think it's probably time to start retreating up. In fact, I should get out the javelin so I can damage the hydra at the same time. And I am gonna, yeah, I'm gonna have to fight a berserk hydra. No surprises there. Not a berserk. What am I saying? Mited. Hey, that's my first rune. Is it second rune with this character? Because I already did this uh, spider nest. What do these guys do? I know the shambling mangroves like constrict you, but and I spit out the hornets, but I don't think they do too much. I know they can be tough for some characters. So I was wondering what they did. Um I guess it is like big melee characters or something. Ah, listen to all the way boomerangs, that's fine. I'm actually not the highest of my throwing things, because I only got like 11 rocks, although I did just see some silver javelins sitting on the ground. So if I got any room to pick up, which I don't, come on, it's supposed to be something I could drop. Um, I actually do need that resist electric, but I don't have another source of like poison resist, do I? Right, I dropped the one to flame, I think. Oh, I've got amnesia I can drop, let's definitely drop the amnesia. Charm weapon, yeah, okay, I got some silly stuff. Uh, I probably could drop the brilliance if I wanted. Oh, nine brilliance, well, that's a lot of brilliance. Anyway, I go to the vaults, I got basically everything apart from resist electric. Which, if I could get another source of poison resist, um... Mm, would it make sense to break my cold resist in here, where I kind of need it, to get the resist electric? It does have minus strength on it, but... Do I have another source of like resist cold for when I want to replace that? Not really. I think I gotta shatter that ring, unfortunately. What um oh just ranged and melee, which is actually kind of nice as well, but now I'm gonna shatter it. It's a bit of a shame, but I'm just gonna put on the resist electric. So I don't get absolutely murdered by Thunder Hulks. But the cold resist is kind of nice in here, but yeah, well, I guess I still got one from my scarf of resistance that I've got now. Alright, 20 fighting, 20 uh, ranged, um, I might need a little bit more throwing, let's bring it out to like 20 as well. Oh, the unarmed's not quite there, because, uh, oh right, it was at 20, but then it went back, back down a little bit. Um. <laughs> do I have a choke point? I don't think I do. Oh wait, no I do. Excellent. That's the thing about action are your skills will like fluctuate a bit. In fact, sometimes it doesn't even make really sense to quite max them out because oh they'll say okay, I got distortion. Okay, I'm gonna better throw some rocks for it, I think. Because uh then you won't be able to like benefit from curses anymore of that particular skill. Uh Whew, 
That dude's recalling. Unless I got some quicksilver, which I don't. I should probably just teleport, I reckon. I hated Donald. <laughs> Goodbye, Donald. Yeah, the teleport took me out of there, at least. <laughs> Reply to the gates these groups of creatures is hilarious. With the, um, decent amount of shield. Oh, ranged and melee combat. Did I have a thing to curse? Do I want to curse this resist electric ring? <sighs> Kinda. I mean, it is minus strength, which is a little bit of a shame, but... I actually kind of do, because that logs in some pretty good resists. Um, yeah, I guess I will. And that brings my range back up to 20. Or oh, unarmed back up to 20. What did I just bring the range up to 16? Not range, throwing. I mean, that's the skill I use for doing range stuff. But it's not called ranged. Uh, this guy can probably mark me 11%, yeah. I knew I would have to uh, quite fully go rid of his mark chance. But my willpower is pretty decent. Uh, range of devices. That's really quick to give me a second curse. I mean, I guess I did explore a reason about the level. But no, I basically just cursed myself up. Oh wait, that's an answer. I should, should damage the end before it gets up to me. I'll completely kill it. I mean, that works. Um, I don't think I have too much of a problem with trolls. Like, I can kind of just fight the big choke points so they just die. But they're, obviously they're bad if they surround me because then my shield's not being as effective. But I think I don't have any problems with them. So where did Donald go? Because I know he's around here somewhere. Ah, oh, this dude's range. Uh, not range. Reach. With its, um, pole arm. Um, Donald can be tough, but I think this character is probably going to have him under control. When I meet him, because I can probably soften him quite a bit with rocks before he even gets up to me. I mean, he does have a shield, which is not ideal, but uh, I could, I guess I could soften him with the javelins, actually. If I wanted to, to ignore his shield. Since I don't even know where he is, I probably won't end up fighting him, because, oh, there he is. Yeah, you know what, um, this is actually a really good spot to bring out the javelins, because I'll get both guys. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't survive the javelins at all. What do you have in the way of a shield? Plus two shield of reflection, which is not going to work against javelins. Oh, I killed this troll. There we go. Can get him to a choke point instead of being surrounded. Uh... I don't know about this staircase. I mean, it's okay, but I might try another one. I can't wear these gloves. What are they? They're just, uh, wait, there's seven dex gloves. For the right character, those would be amazing, but not for this character. So I, I don't, like, massively need the dex. I might try weight off this mic. <laughs> and with Ash's already it's kind of funny because you can see all the enemies, like, circling into your position with your detention. Actually, it's kind of cool to see all the guys circling in. Uh, I think I'll just javelin up the, the guy that can recall. Could got it in time, but that was kind of close, actually. Because it took a lot of javelins. <laughs> I don't think I did like, anything to the dodges. I just kind of walked towards them and they all just died. Alright, beguiling range. I don't care about the curses. Uh, anything I actually need to swap out with my um, items? Both things are pretty good. The shield's like my end game one. Scarf's end game. Hat's end game. My body armor at some stage I need to swap out, but. Yeah. Uh, everything else is doing pretty good. Oh wait, that's not what I meant to throw. I mean, it's fine. Still something to throw with the javelins. Don't think I can reflect back to Thunderhawk to Lightning, because it's not, like, shooting out towards me. Um, but I can dodge it sometimes. I 
Oh, another requirement? Did I use up the last one? I can't even remember. I guess I did. I must have got something. So the Hood of the Assassin, a manual of dodging or ring of magic. I have to, no, I gotta keep the willpower in my head. Um, the Hood of the Assassin's alright. It's like, allows you to stab with your claws. Uh, but I'm not really that stealthy. It doesn't work with, like, throwing or range, so you don't need too much. I just grab the manual of dodging, because I don't need the money. I've got, like, 4,500 gold. Um... Yeah, I mean, I get a little bit of dodging. Sure, let's bring the dodging up to like 12 or something, see how that works. I'll probably just keep it going until the manual goes off it. Like, I'll be eventually getting heavy armor. I don't currently have it, but... That's the plan. The plan's like, gold dragon armor, I guess? Hard to hate on free XP? Exactly! And Nurion, exactly. Yeah, I mean, if it's free, you might as well get it. Uh, I mean, technically, it costs like a thousand gold, in a matter of speaking, because that was the other option on the acquirement. But that doesn't matter for this character. Hey, is that actually a meat one? Like a meat, um... Yeah, it is one of the meat uh, caches. It's a magically preserved pepperoni pizza? Nice. Because I haven't seen one of those in ages, although it was a special vault-placed one. Because I've been getting tons of fruit ones, I think it might just be luck. It would just be kind of funny if, like, the RNG was, uh, off with them, and you always got the fruit ones. Um, but it's really hard to tell, because that is a special vault-placed one, but at least you do sometimes see the meat ones. Oh, curse girl. Um, I'm likely just going to have to go straight back up here, but I'll try throw some rocks at it. Silver javelins, maybe? Okay, I go down to like half health. Ooh, it's got me down under half health. Uh, why just take these guys upstairs? In fact, I definitely should take these guys upstairs. Because I regen faster than the curse scale, right? Oh, regen to full. I might just bring it upstairs. Alright, okay, get rid of the summons by changing levels. How many runes am I going for? I haven't actually decided yet. Um, at least three. Um, I mean, this character might be able to go for more. Also, if I find a death talisman, I'll definitely consider getting more. Do I need to know the stuff in here? There's like a summoning scroll or something. Got it by Vobex Ghost. They've got a stone arrow, leader's look perfection, vile clutch, kiss of death. They don't look that bad. I don't think I find them right now, but they don't look that bad. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'll decide based on whether I find a death talisman, honestly. Um, I think if it was trolls with decent at shapeshifting, so actually getting a death talisman going wouldn't be too bad. All right. Whoa. Gotta try to step back, but the storm might get sealed on me. Oh yeah, that's fine. Looks like a perfect spot for a javelin, though. Well, not perfect, but like, I can get a lot of stuff. Yeah, four creatures is not half bad. Alright. That's the only guy with a pole arm, actually. I think it is. I think the other guys were actually just mailing me. For a second there, I thought it were a couple of guys with pole arms hitting on me, but that's fine. Okay, I'll check what talismans I've seen now. I've seen the statue ones, right? I've seen the serpent one? Nah. I've seen the more one. This is a somewhat decent range, but again, there's not many of the high-tier ones apart from the statue talismans. Did that dodging make much of a difference? I gained 3 AC. That's actually not bad. I might keep that going a little bit longer. I'll get up to, like, 15. I'll see how long the manual lasts. It can't last that much longer. What's my amulet again, actually? It's regen, right? Which I, it's, I don't think that's too bad. Yeah, usually I go with, like, either regen, reflection, or magic regen, uh, regen, depending on the character. And this character's already got a reflection shield, so going with the regen's actually not a bad choice. Uh, oops. Oh, look at my inventory. It's very auto-explore. Like, the keys are right next to each other on the keyboard. 
I was just getting the wrong one. I think limb wounds are a problem. Sometimes the limb wounds can be a problem because they're one of the few things that does fire damage in the um, bolts, so it's easy to go in here with no fire resist on. And then actually Marjorie can also appear and wreck you if you have no fire resist on. And same with Exahua, so there's actually like a number of uniques that do fire resist. But generally I don't think you need too much fire resist in the bolts, it's just a, the occasional creature. Um, Amnesia? No. I don't need that. All right, what's the way down? I wonder what, oh, hey there, Frederick. I wonder what any of those uh, ghost vaults and stuff are worth coming back for, like ones I've seen earlier. What do I want to do against Frederick? I mean, there's lots of things I can do. Uh, I might just bring out some spiders and go smack him. Oh, I got him netted. That's pretty good. Hey, he died. Excellent. Oh, did you look up Talisman? You haven't played this game in years? You're out of the loop? Yeah, the, the new forms. They're actually really good because you don't have to keep on recasting them. So the statue ones, or oh, the granite tallies ones, basically the old statue form. Um, I mean, there's still storm form, there's still death form, or uh, necro mutation, whatever it used to be called. But some of the early ones, like the spiders and stuff, got swapped out. Um, oh, there's still dragon form. Yeah, I think all the high tier ones are basically the same. It's just the early ones that got redone. Uh, okay, there's all the things getting attracted by the bike, but these aren't too bad. Wow, still got a manual on the dodging? I mean, I got another reviation. I might just bring this up to like 17. Surely that manual's about to wear off, right? Oh, it's cursed. I thought it was wanting me this guy had distortion or something. <laughs> I almost feel like I don't need a warning for the curses when I've already cursed up all my items. I mean, no, there's really no reason for a warning when you've cursed up all your items, right? Because even if you like the curse, you can't smash something without getting rid of the offerings. Oh, two experience potions? Um, yes. Okay, so what I'll do, uh, with these two experience potions, I'll level up because I'm almost up a level, and then I'll just chug both of them. Wow. I get a good look, like I have so many acquirements. Hey, there we go, finished the manual of dodging. Oh, basically at the target anyway, I'll just let it reach its... Oh wait, no. Uh, I think the target's 17, isn't it? I need 16. Hey, there we go, level 20, reach my target. Um, it's actually a lot of dodging for a character that's eventually going to be wearing heavy armor. I might just try to get a bit more armor skill, I'm not sure how much difference will make. Alright, let's uh, drink these potions. Get some strength. Drink another potion. Excellent. I mean, I really can't complain about loot this time round. I've been uh, plenty happy with everything. Right, what do I want? Um, I made a little bit of difference to my armor, but it didn't make that much difference. You know what? I might bring it up to 15. I don't know if that makes any sense. And then maybe I'll just get like more throwing, more unarmed, that sort of thing. Um, I was eventually going to get a god title, which... Depending how many runes I want to get, I should start working on that reasonably soon. Unfortunately, the um, invocation is completely useless with Ashton Zari, so it's just like completely getting it for the title, which is a bit of a shame, but... Oh, these are all orbs. It's Nim's Orb Outfitters. It's a crystal ball of Wukid Moo, which has got like extra channeling. I don't need any of these. It's a light fire resist willpower summoning orb, channel magic, fly stealth earth orb, random rage resist legendary resist called two edge orb, uh, light orb, a mayhem one with conjuration. I mean, those are some good orbs, but not for this character. What are orbs? Um, they're like shields, except they don't give shield value, they do, um, other things instead. Like, the orb, well, the light one makes you glow, a bit like, uh, Shining One's aura. The mayhem one sometimes frenzies up creatures when you kill other creatures, I think? 
And then there's a Guile one, which halves your willpower and the willpower of all the enemies, I think. So they do, like, a mixture of different stuff. Wait, that's not where I'm meant to go. I'm meant to go into the Elven Halls. Got everything I need. I've got the willpower. Um... But the orbs are, like, so rare that you'll probably not get to use many of them ever. Or maybe you'll try to get one another with... Yeah, the mugs start with orbs. Oh, an orb of light, which is pretty cool. Um... Yeah, I think this is fine. Although they generally end up, like, swapping away from it for a shield eventually, but it's really nice at the start of the game, when you make everyone glow so you can see all the invisible things and you get extra accuracy. What have we got? Summon forest, summon cactus giant. I mean, those are kind of a little bit late for it here, the summoning spells. Preferably, you'd be using at least some of the horrible things by here. Hey, Death Talisman. All right, I might... Oh, no, I won't buy it yet. Magic region resist electric, sure. But I'll try to get that death talisman going eventually. Which will also free out my ring of poison resist as well. Um. Oh, you think Mug is such a bad start, said no one? I kinda like the Mug start. I mean, maybe it's not the best, but it gets all the dags. I don't know. I like the orbs of light, but yeah, maybe it's not the most optimal start, but I kinda like it. Uh, let's go downstairs, I think. I mean, I think with the orb light, it's better than before it had the orb light, because he, um... Oh, you loved Monk's start, but it does still have the starting party bonus. Yeah, it does. It definitely does. Yeah, so the first god you get, you get the extra two pips of piety. Um... It can definitely be quite fun, depending on what god you're going for. I mean, it doesn't matter with Ash and Zari, because their party works differently, but for a lot of gods, they can be... Quite a big starting bonus. Uh, especially with something like, I don't know, Okawari or something, because it gets you the gifts earlier. Or... I don't know, even with just something like Trog, just, that also gets you gifts earlier and stuff. All that sort of stuff. Uh, I probably shouldn't have walked into the middle of those guys. I can probably stand back and just claw these guys. I can always throw some, like, javelins at these guys. There's enough of them. Uh, well, looking at what you've managed to, uh... wait, is that showing, oh, it's the one to show the last one, but wait, why is it, oh, that's showing, oh, that's the name, I thought that was, like, showing, uh, that's kind of funny. I thought I was showing, like, games that have been won by you or something. It's like, wait, 2,000 games? That doesn't make any sense, because, uh, uh, like, the high score for most wins is, like, 1,200 or something. <laughs> like, what's, what's going on here? Uh... I was the command to show, like, the last thing you've won, so it would be, um... It would be like the same thing, it would be LG.1, and you can replace the dot with your, um, name, like that. Oh yeah, you've got it. You've won a Troll Monk of Chabriados. Did you get a statue from going for like, oh, 15 runes, that's nice. Did you get a statue from going for like, extra slowness? Not that you need like, extra slowness with Chabriados, but it can be kind of funny. Oh, you did? Nice. I presume you were doing, like, metaphor or sort of something, or throwing rocks or whatever, against range things. Are you gonna check for- whoa, 29 ghost kills? It might just be me that doesn't get a lot of ghost kills, it's gotta really depend on server, right? Uh... Cause I think I've got, like, six of them or something? I don't know. Five of them. Killed a bad on Agrajag, Dagger, Jeffrey, Dalma, and Kaikun. I think I've seen most of those people's ghosts. Um, 
Not all of them though, but most of them. That was my cloak. That was a that was a scarf of resistance to like extra stuff. I should probably keep that one instead of getting another cloak. Ooh, digging's alright. I, mean, I might just grab it. Could grab the light, but like the javelins are kind of taking over what I usually use light for is like my beam. Or oh, they underestimate the troll until they get a large rock portal jacked out to the face. <laughs> Yeah, it sure do. I don't think this character can unfortunately get portal projectile. I've got replaced with a dimensional bullseye, which is it's an interesting spell. It doesn't do all the things that the portal projectile did, but I think you get to sometimes hit two people. Actually, I haven't tried it with large rocks. That'd be kind of funny hitting two people. Um Yeah, the reworked one's kind of interesting because you can't hit people behind fences anymore, behind allies, but you can still hit things behind enemies with it. Um, I don't know, I feel like I actually pick it up less often, even though it does kind of allow you to hit multiple targets sometimes. Uh, I'm going to pull these guys back a little bit and throw javelins at them. Alright. I got so many javelins. Oh, there's some more guys. That's better. Oh, whoops, there's one behind me. That's not where it should be. Uh I just step back once more. There we go. I like, can choose more javelins. Fortunately, I'm gonna get through all my javelins pretty soon, I think. Yeah, down to one javelin. There's my last javelin gone. Alright. Uh, did that make much difference? That armor didn't make much difference right now, so I'm not going to grab it just yet. I will go grab, um... I'll grab the invocations. Bring it up to 21. Oh, whoops. Okay, seems kind of silly, but I, I'll do it. Guy's wanting a rock moving there. Instead of moving next to me. Uh... Oh man, this is where I need some javelins, actually. I think I gotta teleport out here, because it brought in the whole, um... Guy that torments. Ooh, ow. That was a bit of torment. Can I pop the fog? Oh, there we go. Teleported out anyway. <laughs> Just trying to protect myself from the torment until the, uh, until it went off. I was my targeting large rocks was too OP. You get it? Yeah, I mean, it definitely was a good when you know something that you particularly wanted to take out in a hurry. Dropped a large rock directly on them. Uh, run up to this guy, I think. It does repel missiles. It's another reason to run up to it. Alright, did I get all my javelins back? I got 19 of the back. That's pretty good. I went in here with like a little bit more than that, but not much more. Ooh, what was that that just hit me? Block an arrow, okay. Played the back, that's fine. And then another arrow hits me, right? I might just step back because there were two of those archers. That's better. Yeah, get them somewhere where they're already fighting me one at a time instead of both pounding me at the same time. Definitely the way to go there. Hmm. Actually, I should take out this one, because if, uh, if I get rid of the guy next to me, that's going to hit me with more damnation. Oh, wait, out of rocks? What do I have? What does a boomerang or something? Oh, so I don't need it, but it's a uh, uh, Storm Queen shield, which I think is what my last character actually had. But no, don't, don't need it. This guy's got a big tower shield. Nice and charge it up. Uh, Cloak Vast is just not gonna need. What's the Fire Dragon scales? How's my cold resist going? It's not going the best. It would probably be more protective than my god. Um, I don't, don't, oh, nice and cold. 
I don't know if I can actually make that fire dragon scales work. I feel like I got a told elf with the gold dragon scales. Maybe. Oh, fire resist cover this AC ring. Um, I still got that poison for this one. That's kind of awkward. I kind of like the look of that one. Can I get some other poison for this? Hold up. I've got the swamp dragon armor, right? AC would decrease the same with my evasion. My both of them would decrease. Hmm. So those are basically like two defenses. That might not be too bad. And then I could swap a ring. I'd lose my resist corrosion. Does death form get poison resist? Yeah. So if I can get that one going. Um, how far actually, you know what I should be doing? Instead of the invocations, which is kind of silly, I should be getting death form, shouldn't I? And then I could go into extended. That's actually not a bad idea. And then I can swap some stuff around, but by then I'll probably have some gold dragon armor, to be perfectly honest. The depths often has gold dragon armor. Uh, how much do I need poison for this in here? I mean, I need it against gold dragons, but I don't need it against much else, which probably... Can't exactly shatter the ring, can I, until I get another source? Um, Alright, but it shouldn't take too long. Like, by the time we get uh, through here, I'll be close to 23 skill, I imagine. Oh, that buffed up. It is actually probably only just one curse, I'd imagine. Because I know I did put on one of the devices curses. In fact, I can actually see, right? Oh, no. The things go off the edge of this. So I can't really see. But I think that one might be... De no? Maybe? No? I don't know. There's uh, one of those, those devices. Uh, because this character doesn't have spells, putting on like Kavir armor doesn't actually really matter too much, does it? Alright. Like in terms of, um... I'm not gonna lose any spells and it doesn't um, interfere with throwing either. It's not feeling too bad going through deaths. It's not like trying to go straight from dungeon to depths without doing any of your lab branches or well, even lair or orcish mines or anything, which I've done before. It's an absolute nightmare because there's a special challenge where you go straight from dungeon to depths to pandemonium and then dot. It's really tough. I've only managed it like properly once. Um, I think I used an Oddy Whopper and it was actually alright. They got like statue form and stuff, which really helped. Oh, I don't want to go there. Alright, if that guy's got distortion, I might just boomerang it. Not that. I'll try to go back down. In fact, I might go back to my large rocks here. I've got 20 more of those. I'll probably be finding a number more in here as well. So the, um... Oh, that's not quite working. You know, all of the giants in here, like the Earth Giants or whatever they are, have rocks that you can throw at people. How good is it? Oh, I thought it wasn't that good a chance of hitting, but I'll still throw the rocks. Yeah, because that guy just straight up repels the rocks. So I think it's actually not quite as bad as it used to be after the repel missiles got reworked. Um, it can still be fairly hard to hit. Alright, so I don't deal the best with being surrounded because my AC is low, but... Oh, is there a gold dragon in there? Got Guardian Serpents, um... I'll do the rest of the level then- oh, whoops. <laughs> so much for doing the rest of the level. Well, because those doors- I thought those doors were like ones, uh, like rude ones, but they're not. <laughs> okay. That's fine. <laughs> it's probably not- no, I didn't have the armor, unfortunately. But there was a chance for a Golden Dragon armor, at least a one third chance, maybe? 
I don't need the Wrath of the Frog. I do need this. Hold on. I need this blinking scroll. What's the other ring? Who knows? I'll look at it. Oh, poison resist, resist electric uh, magic points. Yes, please, actually. So I can definitely break the poison resist ring for that, but I might be able to break my other ring as well. Um, I mean, I would get the resist negative, but like, I'm going to get that anyway. Uh, that looks actually not too bad in terms of a poison resist ring. So yeah, let's, uh, let's blow some stuff up. Definitely blow up this poison resist ring. I reckon I do, right? The other one's giving, I mean, it's giving five decks, which is okay. Three inch. Resist negative is nice, but yeah, I think I just blow up the other one as well. Alright. Uh, so put on that one. That gets the resist where they need to be. Oh, we've even still got a resist negative. I'll put on this one as well. That goes the fire cold resist up at another point. Yeah, that's doing pretty well. And it gives me a bit of AC as well, which is all nice. Yeah, just more weapons. How's that death tally has been coming along? It's coming along. Wait, why did my... Did I thought my decks went down. Oh, it didn't go up because these brings both have plus three decks to them. I think it actually did. That's kind of hilarious. I... Okay. Uh... I could take here, but I might just try the javelins first. I don't think it's a summon. There we go. If I just escape up the staircase, I can bring half of these guys with me, which is not too bad. Don't have to worry too much about the Enchantress, because she's not going to follow. Alright. I think, does she have Repel Missiles or just, like, lots of evasion? Oh, she does have repel missiles. Yup. And she's got fairy dragon armor, resist negative, resist corrosion. That's not what I really need this time around. Alright. Hmm. She's got repel missiles. It's gonna be really hard to hit her with a rock, right? Oh, 2%. Okay, that doesn't work. You know what? I might just bring her upstairs. Oh, she can do lots of things down. She stripped my willpower. She can, uh, dive into anger and slow. Yeah, okay. Mm, she still reads me out to head, but she is, uh, dying eventually. All oh, these skeletons are gonna follow up. Oh, bring out the giant, though. <laughs> the enchantress is kind of weird because like sometimes she really seems to vary a lot of toughness sometimes she just catches you off guard like a really bad spot and you can't escape because she's so fast and that can be really bad but then other times like this time around she's just not that scary and it can be worse like if you're I don't know a mummy or a ghoul or something and she has a Holy Wrath, or one of her followers says Holy Wrath. I've had a character that's completely died to that before. I got confused as a mummy and then just died to a Holy Wrath weapon or something. Uh, what was that ghost? That's Kaisel's ghost. I don't have any elemental resistance, which would be kind of scary. It's got lots of evasion. What are they? Coglin Gladiator. Oh, sometimes it's really hard to get um, elemental resistance on a Coglin because they can't wear rings, so. You kind of have to rely very heavily on your gizmo. Uh, those guys are probably fine, but I'm going to still avoid this area. I, I know that eyeball can't mutate me through the glass, or not the glass through a fence. Yeah, I don't think the other guy's going to fake me either. Mm. Alright, good. It's a spot full of javelins. I can get the summoner on the back and I can get the actual real guy at the front. Uh... 
Can this actually paralyze me? 0% good, that's what I want to see. I don't have to care about the invis uh, see invisible either, which is nice if it's actually sorry. In fact, I don't care about this willpower ring. If that's got 0% chance of, uh, banning me with paralysis, I don't think this much that's going to have a chance. I mean, maybe some of the ancient liches and dread liches might have small chances, but it can't be that much. Uh, actually, they should, because I've only got three puts of willpower. I know you need four puts of willpower to entirely resist um, a dread lich on its paralysis, but it should be only a low chance. I oh, yeah, 13 on the shape-shifting. That's certainly making some progress. What do I have that on time for extended? I guess it depends if I do Zop first before extended. I probably should. Which, which case I probably will get enough XP to have a um stat not stage for death for the start of extended, which I often don't. Um, although to be fair, I still need to like trade up the armor skill, don't I? Although I got that up to I guess I got that up to a reasonable level already. Oops, that's the wrong thing. Uh, so that's the thing with you got all the throwing. It's like so many different types of throwing weapons. It can be easy to throw the wrong thing. In fact, I know when this character is going to get the death form on earlier than other characters. It's because I'm with Ash and Zari, right? Their whole thing is about like improving your skills. Well, not their whole thing, actually. They do other things as well, like detecting creatures and portals and all sorts of stuff. These are themed, don't they? Like, this one's acid themed. Um, fire themed, yeah, these are definitely themed. Probably the worst one would be like the um, purple one with the like, quicksilver and stuff. Yeah, this one. Actually, it's got less guys. Because I know the spelling bolts, yeah, like those spelling bolts are doing quite a bit. Oh. Yeah, this one's reasonably bad. The whole like damnation, but like gold dragon's good. Hey, it had armor. All right, I can probably just wear that. See how protective it is, but like, yeah, I can almost certainly just wear it. So I gain 10 armor class, I lose 7 evasion, but I can actually gain 3 more armor class than that. Um, all right. Did I ever get another curse to put on my stuff? Device is melee, actually. That's um, worth putting on. My other fire is this cold resist. Um, AC tanks ring. I feel like I'm not going to take that one off. Alright, um, now that I've done that curse, I can go shatter up my armor. Shatter the acid dragon scales. Yep, that's it. Which means my fire cold resist are probably maxed. Yeah, I'm missing the resist corrosion now, but like, whatever. Um, do I want to actually curse up this armor? It's not the first thing I want to curse up because I kind of want to get um, a bit more enchanted. I can. And you do find like some enchanted armor throughout extended. Am I getting? All, I'm getting all my god abilities. I'm just not getting quite as much skill. I don't know about this. Also, is this even gonna hit? Fob oh, percent. That's useless. Um, I just grab a temporary. Those guys. Do I have better than four percent chance? No, it's still four percent. Uh huh. Uh. At least I can hit them in melee, because they don't have repelled melee or something. Um, I got constricted, okay. Wait, is that... These are... Wait, these are all summoned. Hold up. I got javelins. I can, I can fix this. There we go. These were done some at least, so it actually makes sense to do some real damage to them. Did I lose much evasion? I think I did lose a bit of evasion, but it wasn't a huge amount because um trolls are never that good at dodging. Oops. Ah, that's not what I meant to throw. I meant to throw a rock, but I think I missed anyway. That's right, the eyes that give you um, fragile are actually fairly decent dodging, because most of the eyeballs are like really terrible at dodging. Do I have cutting of fortitude? 
Um, Forgery is like armored shields, which are both good. Dodging is like, mm, that's whatever. I might grab this anyway. Um, do I put that on my resist electric rig? I guess I do. Magic points aren't that useful. Resist electric is useful. Yeah, I might put it on. Oh, that doesn't cause any problems because it means I don't have the resist corrosion. Alright, well, I can't wear that crystal blade armor belt, but, uh, actually, if I could wear it, like, no, I probably would, because I've already charged my gold dragon armor. Let's go to, it's okay, so I've got, got vaults, um, five to do. I'm not sure about the side bits, I might leave that a little while, because I took off my resist corrosion. Alright, let's go down here. Not a terrible spot to be, not that I can hit this guy with a rock. Um... Alright. I've detected the edge of the map, which is great. That gives me an idea of where I am. Because the magic map on Ash and Zari now just uh, reveals everything that's within view distance, even if it's not within view. It was blocked by walls or something. It's fine, I guess. I think Ash and Zari did. They like, had to win like a couple of nerves, but they're still like decent. Or pretty good, actually. Oh, I guess one of these guys is repelling missiles. Alright, well the sensible thing I think is to go around the edge here and deal with all these guys. Wait, where? No, oh, there they are. In fact, if you think about it, like, Ash and Zari on a troll is kind of interesting, because trolls have bad aptitudes, but they effectively don't if they go with Ash and Zari. Uh, what's shiny here? I don't think it's menace, although... Because I'm not seeing... Well, I saw like one red thing, but it wasn't in the shiny area. I reckon it's just someone with love light. Um... This guy, in fact, right? With the love light, yep. Because I would have detected, like, a tough creature, surely, like, a one that would be in red, if it was menace. Hey, it's a lightning scale, I don't think I've ever got to use the lightning scales on, like, a character that can actually use it. Or maybe I have once. And that's a shame. I've got the dragon mask, which is willpower, slaying, plus three to see invisible. I don't need to see invisible, so if I put that on, I lose one armor class. I lose one willpower. Um, I get three slaying. I mean, it's... Not really that good a trade-off. Uh, how much do I really need the revelations? I mean, I grab it because I got the money. I've got like 7,000 gold or something. But actually, Zari's going to be doing all the revelations that I need. Man, I really want to find like those uh, lightning scales on a Arbitor. I just haven't played Arbitor for ages. Um, so that's unlikely to happen. It'd just be kind of fun to be like actually fast on an avatar. See how much of a difference it makes. Oh, Garrett, the guy that can recall. There we go. Hmm. I'm going to pull these guys back with the Gravitambourine. Okay. I can throw rocks at this one. Unfortunately, throwing rocks at this one isn't quite as effective. Whoa! Okay. It paid me with a bottle of something, but I'll oh, bottle of acid, that's why I don't resist to. Hmm, that's a little bit of willpower. That one has a ton of willpower. I try a healing potion. Okay. Um, what's the right thing to do? I go back a little bit of health to the healing potion. Feel like maybe the silver javelins to try to take back the guy in the back. But it's not going to hit the guy in the front very well. Hey, there we go. Mm. Ow. 
Uh, I probably get three Kelly push to get. Okay, come on, my silver javelin. I'll take out the normal javelins as well. Uh oh, I'm probably gonna do another healing potion. I think the Bolt of Acid though was what really kind of sealed me having to use the healing potions. The uh, one resist I don't have. That's always the problem though when you have one uh, resist you're missing. The Reavers can target it. Whereas once if you have multiple resist you're missing because then you've got a higher chance of getting the one that you're missing. Ah, it's got a recall. Uh, it's not much you can do about that, but I can at least... I mean, I don't think this is actually the best spot to be in. I don't know. There's not many, like, proper choke points in Vaults 5. There's areas that are kind of, like, half choke points. Um, I can use a Phantom Mirror. What can I drop? I can probably drop the Evasion Ring. But they got, like, plenty of better um, armor class rings and stuff. How's that death bomb going? It's uh, four skill short, I think, at the moment. Which you can't really put it on when you're like four skill short because it's minus, what, 40% health or something? It's a pretty big uh, difference. Yeah, like that time it's just targeting things like got resist to and it doesn't really matter when it does that. It's just when it pulls out that one resist they don't have. Uh, with the rocks. What is that? It's got to be something tough that's showing up in red. It's also kind of isolated from the rest of the thing, so I can just go around this way. Is that Marjorie? Hey, it's Marjorie. Okay. Uh, the Hellfin? That's not too bad. Like, Marjorie can come with a uh, Searing Wrench, which is a lot worse. The Hellfin shouldn't be too bad. But especially with my three fire resists. Yeah, there we go. It's the Hellfin dead. And a helper with no, not a helper. If there was a steering wrench with her, it would have probably showed up as um, would red, Joel's dangerous. Is that imagine so steering wrench is a pretty nasty. I can't emulate these guys, but I don't think I um, need to. I think I can just tab through everything here. Yeah, there we go. And I probably explored enough of this level that I can just auto explore now. I don't have to worry about that traveling to the sand because if it travels to the sand, like I've already explored most of all the areas around the sand, so it doesn't really do much. Oh, there's another statue form? That's kind of funny. Anyway, I've got nothing to cast my gold dragon armor. Mm. I'm still hoping that I'll find some more enchant armors. Um. I don't know if it's a futile hope or whether it's actually likely, but we'll see. Is that the actual rune? I haven't picked up the actual rune, right? Hey, there we go. So I got three runes, which is enough to get into Zod. I probably should just go into Zod. Um, yeah, do most of Zod and then go do Extended after that. That's my normal ordering. That doesn't seem like a bad ordering. Right, I know there were some artifacts to the ground that I kind of missed as I was exploring. Like, I saw, uh, um, probably this Arbalist, actually. The Arbalist of Penetration. I think that Blade, Orc Bow of Beast Slayer. Do I need that one? All right, I'm pretty sure I'm done here. So I can go to... I could do Crypt. No, I'll go to Zod. I'll do Zod, then maybe Crypt, and then go to the rest of Extended, I think. Um, yeah, don't magic map out this time because it might actually be useful. He said, Oh, some um, metaphor song. How hard would that be to get as a troll? What's my uh, trying to get? It's minus three aptitude. It's a seven level spell. I've got 11 inch. 
I could eventually get that, but it would be a fairly slow process, I think. I think I'll just kind of rely on um Hitting things with like rocks and javelins. Oh, hey, they go dragon. I don't care about the, the armor that this one might drop, which it didn't even drop armor. Uh, keep on getting cousins, but I really don't think I put them on my gold dragon armor. Because the only better armor I could get is like Pajit's armor, and there's. I had some chance of finding Pajit, but it's not like huge. Not something I want to like kind of bag on fighting or something. Uh, step back once. So those are quick silvers. That's probably fine. The problem with these guys, they like to irradiate you. Uh, wait, level 25? That feels... For someone that dragged two XP potions, that feels slightly less than I'd expect. Also, I should probably be throwing some javelins here because there's a top of snail being brought in and stuff. Oh, hey, they're robs of fire. See, they're turning into slime creatures is fine. Um, uh, hold on. How was the bunny if they got next to me? I thought it would be something else. All right. Um, hmm. All right. That'll do. It's kind of wanted like one thing next to me. Um, feel clumsy, feel stupid. Fortunately, it was before I got my necro mutation on, so that's a bit of a shame. But I might just throw some silver javelins. Uh, I know they do a decent amount to the orbs of fire. Oh yeah, they're like that one almost killed it. Yeah, well, I'll try reset these mutations before I get my death talisman going. But apart from that, I don't think I'll worry about them too much. Oh, oh, wait, what was I going to tell her to do? Uh, brood mother, All right. Um, trying to throw, yeah, there we go, some javelins. So I got my choke point back to myself again, instead of um, being surrounded by my own choke point. Where's the rocks? They've always got endless rocks to throw at people. At least I do at this point in the game. It's not like early game when you first get into vaults or something. Not vaults, a lair. It doesn't feel right not uh, cursing my armor, but I really don't think I should. Because I found with the Ashes Army, like, trying to curse uh, as much stuff up as possible generally works a bit better. This is too much going, so I've got a. Pull out the javelins, try and reduce how many guys there are here as best I can. Um, Alright, that's me out of javelins. Alright, I'm just gonna have to fight these guys in melee or something. Um, ow. Can't teleport out here, which is a little bit sad. Can I... <sighs> hmm. My just healing potion, but I'm not sure that's going to do that much. Oh, do I have any kind of javelins left? Oh, yeah, I do. I know some of these guys are going to go around anyway, but... Alright, this one's still as quick, so breath and stuff, but there we go, got rid of all the draconians. Yeah, getting absolutely, uh, it's really easy to get absolutely annihilated by the purple draconians. Oh, there's something bad in here. Hasn't opened the door, so I'm not actually sure if those guys can open the door or not, but they could be, um, Tiamat or something. Can Tiamat open doors? Because she's kind of like a dragon, right? But I'm not sure she might be able to. Small the... More Quicksilver, guys! Oh, wow. Okay. I'm gonna have to emulate some of this stuff. 
Why, I've got so many javelins again, right? Two guys blowing out is probably fine. Um... And 90 health, I got three fires. This, I think that's fine. Don't want to blow myself up with something, but I think this is still fine. Ah, that's plenty fine. Ooh. Still fine, but I did get, uh, did take a bit of damage from that Quicksilver. All right. I might just throw in a healing potion. That's not perfect. Come on, there we go. Now I can back up again. But that was like the second load of powerful draconians. I hope there's not a third load of powerful draconians in here. That was a... It's almost a battle axe. Whatever that dangerous thing was uh, behind the door, apparently it escaped. So I guess it wasn't too bad. Well, it was probably just one of the draconians. Oh, good. I can get my death bomb going. Um, I should definitely get the fighting going. That's looking a little bit sad. I must have broken some of the curses on it. Same with the unarmed. I must have broken a curse on that one as well. Oh, and the throwing. I guess it's just having less curses in general, uh, but the shields are looking better than ever, so I don't know. <laughs> hmm, just Fina, alright. Well, for these purple draconians, this would be a little bit better. Um, I could rock this one at least. She has like a bolt of draining one of those though, and they're doing a bit to me. Um, oh, I think they're like more like balls of draining or something. All right. But if the simulacra comes up to view, she can actually throw them at me, which is um, fine. So she has a ring of ice resist electric. And, oh, she has a death talisman as well, so I can just grab this one. <laughs> um. Because there was one that I could go by, but I guess I don't need to, after all. And what? Ah, oh, grab the ring. It's not even that great. It's like, um, it's resist the ladder, but the ice is, uh, would actually make me resist worse. So let's activate this one. I can't drink the potions anymore, which is maybe a little bit of shame, but we'll see how this goes. Um... I actually need the cold resist. Poison immunity is something, I guess. How's my claw damage now? Uh, 67 compared with uh, 55 before. So I get a little bit more claw damage and I slow things with my claws sometimes. I weaken things. Yeah, like this guy got slowed and weakened. I think I can sometimes anti-magic. So it's alright. And I gotta remember about my Siphon Essence, which I think gives me back hit points from living creatures. Which isn't necessarily the most useful and extended, but there don't need to be many of those. I might do something in here. Oh, also, I should reset those mutations, shouldn't I? I mean, they're not, like, terrible, but if I'm going to be running around in death form all the time, I'm not going to get new ones, so... You know, let's do it. Ooh, large clump feet's good, but a body sometimes degenerates when taking damage. Um, ah, that's probably fine. Yeah, because large clover feet I can use to kick people, which uh, I think I can't wear boots anyway. There's no downside in having that. I need to protect him. Was there any of the other rings I'm keeping on? No, I don't think I can do like a ring swap or anything. Because one of them was literally just like resist electric or something. All right. But at some stage, they're going to have to, like, get some resist corrosion or whatever. Um, but I do want to do the slide, but it's probably, actually, pretty soon. Oh, can I cast the talisman? Let's see. No. Okay. Well, that answers that. So, generally, shapeshifted characters might not be the best uh, in terms of, like, Ash and Zari, because they'd have less slots. But... It doesn't matter with the death talisman because that doesn't reduce your number of slots. Hey, enchant armor. That's exactly what I want. Let's enchant my gold dragon armor.
I found plenty of gold dragons. There's no gold in the lowest. All right, let's go downstairs. Uh, what is this guy? A hob of fire? Probably fine. Oh, but I can't like slaughter or anything. It's definitely degenerating me. Yeah, I mean, I'm only one down with the strands, two down with the end, one down with the decks. That's not too bad. That'll recover in no time. And the good thing about this form is I'm not going to be taking Malmutate. Uh, I might just head back to the staircase. And this is kind of a perfect spot for just like bringing stuff back to the staircase. And it feels weird not having to worry about a curse though, but it's not going to do much to me. I mean, it will summon mushrooms around me, so it can theoretically be bad if it stops me getting back to the staircase because of all its mushrooms or something. Oh, well, another gold dragon. All right. Uh, don't care about the curses still. <laughs> Let's fight some miracle. I get my armor up to like plus 12 or something, or I find some pre enchanted armor. Also, my willpower is actually nice. Uh, the Death Tower has been at least giving me willpower. Um, do I completely do level 5 of bolts? Because I don't have to worry about the mutations. Not of bolts, of uh, Zot. Like, it might not be a bad idea. Um, and I might even, like, max out my level or something. You know what? I think it's not a bad idea. Oh, I haven't looked at my traps. Do I actually need to, like, magic map this? I'm not sure if it's that important. Um, I think the most important thing to take out here is the orb of fire. Can I even hit it with a rock? 50%. I mean, that's okay. I got a teleport trap that side, which is fine, but that's making it a little bit hard to do that side. Uh, what about the other side? Oh, I got a dispersal trap. All right, well, I guess I'll explore the rest of the level before I go anywhere in there. See if I don't have any like alarm traps or anything. I do. It's mildly awkward to get to one. Uh, I might just like dig through a bit. Oh yeah, I've got like a uh, got a staircase up as well, so this shouldn't be too bad. And this is almost like a choke point as well. Anything else gonna come along or Oh. Yeah, a lot of traps kind of awkward. I maybe should have got quite as close to it. But I guess getting around this corner it means the um alarm trap oh the the spells trap's not gonna get triggered. I can always, oh, even that way, go around that way, uh, triggers as well. All right. I put out any, like, um, I put out any orbs of fire or nothing, did I? Hmm, maybe not. All right, because the inside I'm going to have to go down to the spousal side, which is not ideal. Ooh. Um, I'm about to get the spust, but at the moment I got everything around me. Maybe I won't get the spust. Something tough coming along. Let me get out the javelins here. I feel like, like I'm going to need them pretty soon. That's not it. I have lich. All right. Uh, oh good. Fighting reach a tiger. What do I want to get? I want to get... I mean, I could get a lot of different things. I might just get, like, a little bit more fighting. Um... Getting a title is going to be an interesting situation. Actually, no, it's not. Because, um, I'm going to get a title on the... Um... You should get some armor skill as well. I gotta get a, like an invocation title with none of the um, god buffs are gonna buff up my invocations, which makes sense because generally invocations is like a useless skill for a Ashen Zari character. It's basically entirely about getting titles. 
Oh, don't put me in a net. I don't think I think the Dread Lich summon are too bad for this character, though. I uh, should probably still take out this guy. Oh, actually, the these ones are some of the worst ones. The Hell Sentinels. Um, That's fine. Because they actually have, like, the things that can actually affect me. Uh, keeping these off from getting around me isn't too bad. Come back for those javelins on the, the way out. Those are a little bit hard to get to on the other side of the, um, the spousal trap there. I can't really retreat back into somewhere where I'm not surrounded, can I? Do I care about these being manticores? Because that does mean they can get me with the whole barbs, which I guess doesn't matter too much when I can't even retreat that well anyway. Uh, still no to the curses, alright. If I just... Oh, I can't quite move up. I'm just saying, if I moved up like a little bit, I'd be in a good sort of choke point, but that doesn't really matter. I will do, I think I'll do this entire place. Oh, hold on. I need to back up one so I don't look at the net trap in view. Hey, that's a perfect spot for my silver javelins right there. Uh, oh, I can't get the lich, unfortunately, in that one. Multiple orbs of fire. This is the side with all the orbs of fire by the looks of things. Like the other side was kind of clever of orbs of fire. Oh, there's three orbs of fire? I think there might be. Alright then. Whoops. Ah, no. I accidentally moved up. It doesn't actually matter. Wait, not boomerang. There were more diablos. Yeah, Unfortunately, I'm out of the silver variety, but I guess a god variety of javelins will also work. Um. Can't really do much against an old fire next to me because I gotta deal with the other ones as well. Alright. Kind of fairly wounded. Oh, come on. I want to try the entire life essence thing. Oh, there's not enough creatures close by, unfortunately. There we go. Maybe I can life essence some of these guys now. A little bit. <laughs> I get the minus siphon. It didn't used to get minus siphon. It kind of got nerfed a few times. You should just be able to spam it as long as you had magic points. Or in the case of a genie, as long as you had hit points. Um, do it. Alright. And they gave you hit points back, which is kind of funny with genies. That is just... Oh, it's one of my rocks on a dispersal trap. Maybe we've got some apportation or something. I don't know. If I, actually, I do. It's 99% failure, but I technically have it. Okay. Do I just ride at like 99% failure? That's silly, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know, maybe I should take off my armor or something. It's just one rock, it's not like it's that matter that much, alright. Um, oh wait, can I even? I can take off my armor, right? Because it's not cursed. Alright. Got to remember to put it back on. That would be pretty tragic if I just ran around with my arm rod. Alright, uh, do you need a uh, don't really need to scroll sounds anymore, but I'll pick it up. Alright, so to get out of here, I just stand on this bustle trap by the looks of things. Come on, let me out of here. <laughs> How many blinking scrolls do I get just out of curiosity? Seven, that's not bad. Alright, so I'm done with Zod. I can now go to Crypt, and I've got the Death Talisman, so, um... Curse Skulls are not going to be as bad as they used to be. But I got three of this negative from this, so I shouldn't have had too many problems in here. Oh, what version is this? Banana Can? This is, uh, Trunk, so... 
eventually this will become 0 0.32 when it's finished. Yeah, so the mod trunk changes are there. I guess that means there's manifold assault 7th level. Uh, I don't think there's too many other differences with it being trunk. Oh, I don't even have Yaris. Yaris would be an idea. I think I had a book for it, but it's like 5th level, so it's reasonably hard to get. Oh, hey, thanks for following, Banana Can. I appreciate that one. No, I like playing Trunk, because if you play, like, enough, you kind of get used to all the changes and, um, stable. Although, occasionally, you find things that are kind of a little bit broken in Trunk, but usually it's pretty good. I found it's actually remarkably not buggy. Or something when it's, like, no guarantees that it's not buggy. Like, occasionally you'll get the game just, like, crashing or whatever, and it's a um, bug that reoccurs now and then with the sprites are all messed up. But apart from that, it's actually remarkably not buggy. I haven't played this game in like five years, it feels pretty different. Yet yeah, imagine so, like the, you have talismans instead of forms now, which, they're, they're very similar, you used to have the neck mutation. Um, except you don't have to constantly recast anymore. You have, I mean, there'll be a number of different spells, you've probably never seen, I don't know if I actually have it on this character. Uh, what is it called? Pile driver or something. There's like a Maxwell's pile driver's um power frost eruption you've probably never heard of as a cold spell. There's definitely a ton of new spells. In fact, if it's been five years since you played, that's probably before like the major spell rework as well. Let's get some strands. Um that's probably back when you'd have like lots of bolt spells, right? In the version you played, like bolt of cold and stuff. Those kind of all got reworked into various different things. Oh yeah, what's well, the Bolt of Everything version? Yep. I mean, there's still... Actually, there's kind of not really many bolts left at all. For a while, there was like Iron Chop, but it got reworked into... Um, what is it? Bombard. Sometimes pushes you back. I oh, can't recognize most spells. Yeah, do you recognize, like, Polar Vortex? I'm not sure if this character has it. Because that might have been, um... That might have been, like, Tornado or something back when you were playing. I don't know, but you'd recognize Firestorm, right? That's, uh, one of the few ones that stayed the same, I think. In fact, Firestorm's, like, barely changed at all. Um... Because it kind of doesn't really need to change. It just kind of works. As a spell. As a lot of fun using. So I think that's kind of the reason it's sticking around. Alright, well, let's crypt two. So, yeah, it's so easy going through the crypt when you're on Necro Mutation. Oh, they gotta leave a plain old nuke for the Narvies. Yeah, gotta, gotta have something that's easy to use. I mean, it's technically got some downsides, right? Like, you can accidentally hit yourself to it if you're nuking creatures next to you and stuff, but it's, uh, it's a really solid spell. Oh, that's actually kind of easier for, like, uh, trolls and stuff to get the forms going now, because they aren't based on Enter anymore. They're based purely on the shapeshifting skill, which is a new skill. Um, kind of replaced transmutation in the end. And all the, like, the transmutation spells got changed into alchemy spells, and also the poison spells got turned to alchemy spells. Oh, it's willpower, fire resist, fly. I don't need willpower. Don't need fire resist. Do you need the ability to fly though? But with my stuff cursed up, it's. Mm. I don't actually know if that makes any sense. I don't need the Berserk Rage potions, obviously. Like, uh, it's not going to be able to drink a potion as a lich. And even if I could, I could get angry, so I don't think it's that uh, good. And I probably could drop a decent number of potions, I imagine. Of any things you notice is the linking scrolls just worked on the orb run? Not sure how recently they got changed. Right! No, that's true. Because they used to be random blinks, right? No, they're really good on the orb run now. Um, they're, they're a great way to escape pandemonium lords and get to staircases if you have a few left over for the orb run. Uh, 
Oh, hey there, Jory. I throw a large rock at him. I love how he just explodes into blood everywhere when you kill him. And just like the thought of him being like a vampire that's just like filled with blood waiting to explode. It's kind of funny. Wait, my gem is still here? There's no way this gem is still here. Oh, gems are like- oh, it's got 32 turns on it. Gems are like a new thing, they don't really matter that much, they're just like a bonus challenge you can go for if you're turn turn count. Um, but this one's gonna break, uh, which is fine. It doesn't resist corrosion inch ring. Hmm, it's mildly better than my ring, I guess. But yeah, if you do a branch in like a shorter number of turns, you just get a gem for bragging rights. They don't- I think they give you a tiny bit of score, they're not really worth much. In fact, if you're specifically going for, like, um, turn count, it might not even make sense to pick them up, because, I mean, it takes a turn. Um. But uh, I don't know, they're, they're an interesting challenge. I've done it a couple of times. Oh, actually, you can see which people have actually managed to complete the challenge of getting all the gems. With, like, the gemmed command, I think. Uh... Right, so on Nisserial did it three times, I did it three times, oh, Wong did it twice. Energetic Octo, Garbage Man, and Jaggly. A lot of those people did it in the tournament, because it was one of the banners for the tournament. Uh, in fact, one of my attempts was in the tournament as well. So the tournament was actually a while back now. What are these? Dex Ring? No, yeah, it's a, it's sort of like a potion of it, they're brilliant, but, like, what, what is that? No, it's definitely a ring. That's for all gems, yeah, there's 11 of them, and uh, you don't get them in Hell or Pandemonium, but th or um, the Orcish Mines, but everywhere else has a gem at the bottom. Um, and uh, I think that's for all gems whole. Like, my gem should have broken by now. But you'll see something like this Lion Pits is really awkward, it only gives you 600 tons to get the gem and get out. Uh, Tomb gives you 1,800. It's roughly 600 tons per level of the place you do, except the slime pits is way shorter for some reason. Um, but I think people are like accidentally getting the gem way too much. Because people often dive the slime pits anyway. And I think the dungeon might give you slightly more turns than 600 per level. But it, there was actually a race for a while called... Um, what was that actually called? Meteorans, which had their special thing that they they only had a very limited number of tons to complete each level. I think it was like 600 tons. So you had to be really quick, otherwise they... I think they got their max health drained or something, if you didn't do it in time. Uh, where am I trying to go? Probably Pandemonium, right? Or do I just want to go straight to hell? Oh, I mean, this character should be good in Pandemonium, right? I mean, Pandemonium is easier than hell, it's just a little bit more frustrating. Oh, you saw people playing as Meteors, didn't realize they got removed? Yeah, they got replaced, uh, kind of with the gems. Kinda. Although I think the actual race that replaced them was... Gee, what was it? Was it Coglins? Might have been Coglins. Which, Coglins are like a new, new dual-wielding race. Uh, they're like fragile, but they dual-wield for lots of damage. I played a few of them. I haven't played one in a little while. Could maybe play uh, another one somewhat recently. Ooh. I don't want too much damnation to hit me, so I'm just gonna like get out my javelins, I think. Oh, these are just summoned by the one next to me. That's fine. Because like, if it was the other one that summoned them, it would be a bit worse. Uh Pandemonium Lord does Symbol of Torment doesn't matter. The silence. I think it's fine. There we go. Got it slowed. And I'll throw a couple of javelins, I think. But I was pretty much immune to everything it did apart from the silence. Um, which admittedly I've kind of known. Like, I'm not immune to that because it stops me doing the potion stuff. Ooh, nice. A demonic rune. Did I forget to go to the slime pits? Wait, there's a summoner summoned by what? Oh, I'll throw a javelin at it. Oh, there's a shadow demon summoned by a shadow demon. That's kind of funny. I should just kill that one. 
That's like one of the only real things here. Oh, okay, that's fine. I was almost teleporting, except Ash and Zara saved me. I shouldn't stick around this level. I'm just uh, grabbing my javelins back and then leaving. Because I don't know, I feel like farming pandemonium is just super tedious and not worthwhile at all. Um, it's got corrosive bolt. That's a little scary, but I think I'll just get up to it. Probably with Corrosive Bolt is one of the few resists I haven't found yet. Um, Alright, next level. Maybe this one will have a rune. It does not. That's one of the problems with Pandemonium. If you just like go through so many useless levels. Also, I can get out my rocks and I think I can just throw them at this dude. Alright, this is fine. Curse offering is not that good. Um, well, it's not that useful because the only thing I got to curse is my armor still. Still trying to chart that. Okay, most of these are summoned. Which ones aren't? Um, so most of these are summoned by this one dude over here. They could probably throw a rocket or a javelin, I guess. Eventually, I'll get it with one of these javelins because all these things are summons. There we go. Well, most of these things are summons. Uh, actually, the rest of them are. So oh, ow. I think I threw another javelin, but that actually did a be decent amount of damage to me. Um, yeah, so it's still fine. Good. I was just thinking I was always needing to pull out a blink scroll there with how that was going. Right. Wait, does Ash and Zari just straight up... Oh, let me know what the pandemonium entrances are. Or abyss ones, I mean. That one's an abyss. Um, but doesn't let me know where like the gates on and stuff are. Oh, that makes sense. I guess this technically is a portal, whereas the other ones... The other ones are kind of portals, but they're more like staircases, really. Uh, right, so I know I built one out. That's helpful, actually. There will be a pandemonium lord guarding it, I can tell. It's got plasma beam. That's probably fine. I got resist electric. Got re uh, three resist fire. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Right, next pandemonium lower. Uh, you know what? I might take these corners for loot. <laughs> Plus, what giants fight club? I can technically use it. I was down there. I don't know, I keep getting distracted by like all this loot and not just taking it away onto the next level, but I probably go grab the stuff. Doesn't matter which of these oh uh, hold on, wasn't there something I was gonna do? I might just take the portal out of here. I think I was gonna do the slime pits or something. I said I didn't oh I didn't have to resist corrosion. I still think I'm gonna do the slime pits. I don't actually have the yards either to get rid of corrosion. I'm gonna have to be a bit careful with that. Alright, that does work. Oh, because the uh, stuff on the acid balls I had to go manually pick up. Oh, the acid balls have probably changed since you last played uh, Banana Ken. Because they used to do damage right, but now they give you corrosion while you're next to them. And then the corrosion goes away when you step away from them. Which is... Okay. But it can be quite considerable amounts. Like, if I stop being corrosion, like, go next to that one, it's like 8 corrosion. Uh, if you go here, it's like, well, it's 16 corrosion space and how many walls are around you, corroding you. Alright, well, oh, there's still a gem here. But how many turns that one's got left? And I can't have that many, right? Oh, 300 or something. I got down here really quick. Then, of course, I gotta fight the royal jelly, which could be that the gem breaks on me. I have no idea where the royal jelly is. That can sometimes be the problem with like, getting the gem from the slime, but it's like just finding the royal jelly. Uh, this character doesn't have nothing to like take through those walls either. Uh, 
That's the gonna lead round. I can just go down here. I reckon there's go. Oh, I might kill that Titanic one. I reckon there's gonna be a lot of uh, javelins involved in this royal jelly fight when I find it. Okay. Clearly, I've gone the wrong way. Hey, there it is. Um. I can emulate some of the stuff. I do have the fire resist for that. Okay, that's looking all right. Do I want to teleport out? I think it's probably the safest thing to do. <laughs> These guys are quite resistant to fire, although they're actually dying reasonably well. I don't know, it's an alarm trap. Um, somehow I re uh, somehow resisted that getting set off. Well, killed the guys that were set it off. Um, I gotta go back and get my javelins at some stage, but I should just go down and get the jam and stuff. Can't have many turns left on it. It's got like a hundred turns on it. I don't know if it'll survive me grabbing all this loot. Can't wear the boots. They're just like poison resistance thing. They're actually plus three. They're not um terrible. Oh, resist electric wizardry, but minus four strength. Actually, that's That's interesting. I might drop the wand of flame. I probably won't end up using it, but wizardry could work. Oh, resist electric AC. Hold up. What's this one? Magic points and decks. I don't need the polymorph. Hold up. Um, that could always be worth putting on, actually. Oh, I think the funniest method you've seen is vulnerability plus polymorph, but it's always reliable. Yeah, I've done that one before. The, like, when you kill the royal jelly, it just, like, explodes. It's so, so funny. Like, it explodes out with all the um, summoned creatures. I have to get the javelins at some stage. Ooh, that's a uh, that's a good gold dragon armor. Um, do I leave my regular stuff down here? Maybe. What do I want to drop? I drop. No, I don't think I really need that wizardry. Like it's got the minus strength and stuff. All right, let's grab this armor. Put this armor on. In theory, my other one can chop better, but like, <laughs> hey, at least this is actually, actually this is something I can curse up. Nice armor. Yes, certainly is. All right, I'm done in here, I think. Let's just get out of here. Did that jab survive? I feel like that crypt one should say it's broken. I don't know, it doesn't, but I feel like it should. Oh, it's probably because I don't have the more gem information on, isn't it? All right. So I dropped this old armor. If I find enough enchant arms, I'd have to find like at least four just to make it better, and the willpower's all right. Do I blow up the ring that's giving me magic points and decks to get some AC? Maybe. Actually, see what the current curse is. Um, shape shifting is okay, but I don't really need it. Dodging, stealth, ah, that's not that good. Evocate is okay. No, I'll just go back to Pandemonium, I think. And then I'll... Um, I definitely highly think about blowing up one of my rings. I don't know, kind of thinking about leaving one of my rings uncursed so I can swap and fly when I need it. Ranged and cunning? Yeah, that seems alright. Let's put that on my armor. Alright. You know, I'm gonna, yeah, I gotta blow up the ring. So it's, uh, where is it? Poison resist doesn't matter. It's resist electric, this one. Resist electric magic points. I don't think I need the magic points that much. I'll blow it up. Alright. Well, I got a little bit of AC out of that. I'm on 41 AC, which for a troll is actually a lot of AC. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's because I got such nice armor, right? Oh, what's this guy doing to me? Decomposing my dags? That's fine. It will be back. These guys, um... Sensibitals get dispelled dead, so they're an actual threat. Also, what does the Pandemonium Lord do? Bolt of Devastation, that's, mm, that's probably fine. Well, that's not, <laughs> I try to do it, just try to throw a javelin through some of these things. In fact, I should, oh, it's not lined up for me to kill the ones I want to. 
I need to get rid of that summoner at some stage. <sighs> Can we get a head with damnation from the like summoned guy? There we go, that's way better. I think the uh, devastation that this guy can do can like drain my willpower. Yeah, just did it. It does in fact drain the willpower. I got so many uh, ways to the next region here. I mean, it doesn't really matter which one I take at this point. Let's just take this one here, I guess. Uh, teleport scrolls or something. I don't think the rest of these consumables are useful though. All right, what's this? Um, a vision of a gauge. That's oh, the way to the abyss. This is one area that can have um can have ways the next region. Like you can see, not ways the region, not not ways the region. Next region it can have a rune behind in one of these areas, but it's not going to this time. I already have the demonic rune. It's not the only pandemonium one I've actually found. Oh, what sort of gate is this? Oh, so it's, it's way to the next region, effectively. It's uh, way completely out of here. So all I have to do is kill the Pandemonium Lord, and I can be on my way. Guiding Sorcery? No, I wasn't going to curse out that other ring, I don't think. Wait. Oh, I'm missing Resist Corrosion, that's fine. This guy can haste itself, but it can't do much else. That's fine. Um, oh, I shouldn't have let this guy get behind. I said it doesn't really matter. It's just that guy's a summoner, so we'll just keep on sitting back there spamming things. But it, as I said, it didn't really matter. Uh, let's just take the next region. Come on, be a rune. Hey, it's a rune. It's a... What is that portal? Oh, this. Uh, I can just boomerang these guys. Yeah, do I actually want that scroll? <laughs> oh, I might just have very portals of flight. Right, how the resist? That has no resist electric, which is kind of important in here, so I'm not going to be able to keep the resist flight on forever. Oh, there's the rune. I'm pretty sure. Alright, but... I should be fighting against Lom... Lo okay. Lom Lobot. Um, let me just put my resist electric back on. It's going to get me in the storm, right? So I'll just... I'll start with a teleport, Um, because I'm not... Like, full health or anything. That's not right. Oh, teleport's still going. That's fine. It wasn't actually a teleport that got me there. There was a pole of vortex just pulling me around, which is fine. That's what it does. Hey, Sprite looks sick. Yeah, up with the... Like, the whole, like, eyeball that he just looks at you with. Alright, uh... Do you want the enchant armor? Don't actually really need it, because my shield's maxed out and everything. How do I get back into the boss chambers? Not that way. Right, so I don't need to like, grab any resist, do I, before I fight Lom Lobon? Um, I could maybe, like, uh, take off my neck mutation, put on a flight potion, and then put it back on. I mean, <laughs> it's an option. I could uh, maybe do the same sort of thing with a haste potion, because that's always really good. You know, I should, probably should. Alright, so let's take off the form. Got 12 haste, that's no problem. This was the flight, just in case I need it. You know what, I might, I might put on the might as well. Enlightenment? There it is. Hopefully, these guys, I don't think these guys interrupt as I'm transforming, right? No, they don't interrupt. I just uh, can warn you whether you really want to do that. Everything's gonna die apart from Lom Low Bonnet. Um, well, surely with all this electricity. Okay, got them slowed, which is great, and I'm hasted, so this is not exactly a fair fight. They're still doing a reasonable amount of damage to me. There we go, that's better. <laughs> that looks like it's my polar bonics at the moment, but it's not. Alright, Rune is exactly where I'd expect it to be. And I do know about the way on, right? Not that one. Yeah, that one will do. Ugh. 
Give me the healing potion. I'll probably never use it. Because I'll be on the lich for all the time. Oh, there's a fiery root of thought. That's excellent. That's what I want to see. What am I detecting another way to the abyss? Well, it's going to be really easy once I want to get to the abyss. Because I've detected the places all over the place. Um, Oh, I might grab the tower shield potential. I'll probably never use it. But if I can get that, um, like, fully charged up, it could be all right. But I probably won't. They only got two jar dubbers. That was fancy stuff there with a bit of fire resistance or something. Okay, so we've got uh got good old Sarah Bob here. I'm probably gonna teleport it out, but I'm gonna regen way faster than him, which is nice. Um Bring out the javelins. Can't stop him hasting out, which is not ideal. Start by teleport now because he can do quite a lot of damage in melee. Alright. And he strips away one of your fire resist, so you're just setting on two fire resist while fighting him. Well, presuming you got your fire resist to a good value like this character did. Uh That's terrifying, yeah. I mean you often have to teleport out quite a few times. Um so he has tons of health, but he doesn't have much regen, so if you just teleport out, make your way back to him, he's usually still pretty wounded. Oh, that is not him. Yeah, like, look at that. He's still uh, moderately wounded there. Got him slow, which I'll oh, slowed and hasted. I guess he's normal speed. Oh, that's my cue to leave, I think. All right, he's almost dead. Well, I think uh, one more attempt at him was probably all it's going to take. There is he. He's got plenty of stones left. But he does heal up a bit. Like, now he's moderately wounded instead of almost dead, right? Um, oh, come on. He's making me use javelins because if he's got all those little fire guys out. I guess that is the benefit of a polar vortex. You do stop your enemies being able to attack you so well. There we go. That's better. Um, I don't think I need a sword. I'm not exactly a sword character. I've done a sword troll before, but this character's certainly not a sword troll. And I did it, like, um, after swords were made to use dex as well. Speaking of dex, there's a ring of dex and resist corrosion. I got the dex and, like, uh, no, the resist corrosion is an inch one. <laughs> um... Oh, I can't pick it up. What am I carrying around? I mean, I guess I got the tower shield now. I got lots of stuff, don't I? Char down, I should probably keep. I don't know if I need my brilliance. Um, I'll keep that one for the flight. I feel like I'm more likely to need the decks than the intelligence, but I don't know. Could sometimes be useful to have the intelligence if they got drained near zero or something, which can sometimes happen. Uh, actually, I feel like I should go pick that one back up, actually. Imagine being a pandemonium lord and some troll throws a uh, fastball with a small boulder and you die. He's <laughs> getting bound to death by small boulders. Well, I think that's a little bit bigger than small. Well, I guess small boulder. Yeah, that's probably about right size. Man. What do I drop? Because I can still need to chart over and stuff. I want to keep the brilliance, but I want to like, I don't know. I got the stuff that's like not that useful. You know what? I'm using the enchant over on this shield. It's probably never going to be useful, but whatever. Let's get out of here. <laughs> but the even worse thing is like, imagine a little springing dude with a dagger or a quick blade or something just going and stabbing you to death at the pandemonium launch. I definitely got my rune, right? I mean, it didn't warn me about it. So, hey, menace. Man, should be fine, I think. Um, I need some javelins to ignore his shield, though. I need this is forty percent to hit, which is not perfect. Uh, down to the holy wrath, which is what I'm worried about. Um, I got him slowed though. There we go. 
You hate Mavs? Yeah, he's terrible. Yeah, with the silence seems to be the death of... I've had, like, a character with 14 runes or something, or maybe 12, whatever else. I don't know, not 12, four, uh, 13 or something. Died to him before in uh, Tomb, because they got silenced so that they couldn't do anything, and then the mummies finished them off. And that was, like, really tragic. Alright, let's, uh, let's keep on going. How's my damage, anyway? Is it 83? I think it's going up slightly. What am I even getting? I'll get lots of things. Fighting and up, throwing armor. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Okay. I care about that teleport trap. What is that portal? Is that like a... It's probably just uh, the abyss again, right? Yeah. Because if it was a way out, then you could use the ways out as a way to get to the next level just by going out and then... Well, going back in to pandemonium. Oh, this would have a rune if um if I had have already got the demonic one. Sure. I recognize this area though with the statues. Um I'm just gonna move up to these statues. Oh. Would I? Uh that's fine. What does this guy got? It's got plasma meme. It could probably get me with a plasma meme. But I can get it with lots of stuff. In fact, I might just immolate it. And then, where's my javelins? I've got them equipped already. That, that's not the water, so I think I can just throw. Oh, that way. That's a few less stuff. Alright. Oh, where's the... Where's the passageway they could get through here? That, oh, that guy that just died had to spell dead, so that's kind of why I wanted to take it out fairly quick. Isn't that usually like a portal on once you kill the Pandemonium Lodge? Hmm. Obviously not this Pandemonium Lodge. Oh, whoops. Almost killed that guy. Not quite. Um, I was going to take the teleport trap because it might get me to a bad ammonia blood. It did not. It just put me back to where it already been, which is a bit of a shame. All right. There we go, that's the way on. Let's take that one. So which runes do I have left again? I've got the Dark Rune and the Glowing Rune. Um, so the Dark Rune has Glorix Block that has the Spell Undead, which could be a bit of a problem. But I still can't end my Lich form, it'll do Torment on me. He also brings down his Executioners. But he's probably not too bad. And then the Glowing one's all about like, Mel mutating you, and it has Manole guarding it and stuff. I don't know, I feel like that one might be a bit tougher. Speaking of the glowing rune. I am right on the level. So what I usually do with these ones is I usually magic map them so I can spend as little time as possible on here. Uh, <laughs> I mean, this character's not going to get mutated, but I'm still going to get some stat drain, possibly. Oh yeah, I see where I need to be. It kind of tied by the enemies a little bit. Um, this level actually got buffed recently, which is kind of weird. I don't feel like it needed a buff, but hey, it did. Oh, uh, Glorious Hero being a kind of squidgy compared to the others. Yeah, I don't think they're massively healthy, but they're, I know they can definitely be pretty bad with their torment. Um, but I think when you're dead, a spell dead isn't quite as bad. I don't have a thing to curse up. I was going to keep that ring just how it is. All right. How's the okay? The stats are doing fine. Usually they do fine. I just got to be very careful because I've had a character go from like uh, tenant to minus tenant in here before, but I don't think that happens anymore. I think these guys got respect, so they have brain bite now instead of the old thing that drained more int. All right, where do I need to go? So the rune is going to be right there, which means they've got to be close to the no Lake here. There they are. 
I'm going to try and bring them round this corner. Do I get them in a perfect spot for me to throw some javelins out, I guess? Eh, pretty much perfect spot. At least everything's in line, at least. Okay. Don't want a guy sneak out behind me, but oh well. Are they even taking damage here? I guess, guess I just gotta use the silver javelins if I want them to take damage. Wait, are these guys, they want to radiate, right? Because they don't want to radiate each other? I hope. There we go, okay, the silver javelins do quite a bit, because uh, Manolak is like a horrible mutant and vulnerable to them. Do I need those mutation potions? I got the large clover feed the body sometimes deteriorates. I haven't any problem with the body sometimes deteriorating, so I'm probably fine with those. Large clover feed are actually useful because they let me kick people for a bit of damage. What's the damage bonus if you're vulnerable to silver? I'm not entirely sure, but it's uh, it's quite a chunk, I think. Um, yeah, I almost feel like it could be an extra... It's at least 50%, I think. But it could be like an extra 75% or something. Man, I could, I could like ask the bot. See if it knows about silver. Uh, yeah, it doesn't count racial mutations except for demon swarm ones. It's up to... Wait. Uh... Plus 5 damage per mutation, not counting demons for ones. That's versus players. Plus 75 damage for the chaotic things. Right. So it'd be, yeah, it would be the plus 75, because I think Manor Lakes count as chaotic. Oh, you have to get used to using the bot commands? Yeah, I'm not, uh, not that familiar with them, but I know some of the basic ones. This is helpful. And it's really, like, really important. I really kind of only really learned them about them for going for titles. It's really important with titles to see which ones you've already had. Because going through the list manually would be an absolute nightmare. <laughs> of, uh... Like, titles that you've already had. Especially when you've got, like, 300 titles like I do now. But I, even when I was, like, up to, like, 60 titles, I was getting a bit of a problem to go through manually. Hey, good. Uh, there's Glorix Vlog. Am I in the boss chambers right now? I'm hundred percent sure. Actually, this is looking an awful lot like the boss chambers. Honestly, quite a bit got. I don't need the Shadow Dragon armor. Don't need the Manual of Hexes, do I? Duh. It's like mildly, maybe helpful someday if I want to go out the Yaras, which I feel like there was. This oh, it's right there. Oh, all my spells, like, really got a high failure because I'm wearing heavy armor. Makes sense. Um, I don't know if I'll ever get time to go out the yards. It's nice, though, because... Uh, oh, hey, there's Glorix Flock. Is he vulnerable to silver? They are uh, conceived visible. They can fly. They mute to and resistant to miasma. Okay. I don't think silver does anything more. But I'll still shoot the silver javelins at them, because it still does a bit more damage. Still an extra 25% damage. Alright, well, it's my, it's my normal javelins. Uh... It's kind of kind of an awkward angle because I the most important one to get here is uh Glorix Flock. Everything else is just kind of a bonus. Uh right. Yeah, but I pretty much just gotta keep on shooting that one spot I've been shooting this whole time. Down to three javelins? I think this is maybe gonna work. Down to one javelin? Oh, not quite. Alright, what can I hit them with? Um I could try and, like, emulate them, but I might try and crush them with Gravitambourine, and then... You know, I think emulating them's not a terrible plan. 
They're so close to death, though. Like, and nothing blowing up. Oh, didn't even do it. Hey, there we go. Dead. All right. That's, oh, I'll just wait around here. That's excellent. Like, go finally grab all my javelins back. Is that all my pandemonium runes? I'm pretty sure. Let me check. Yeah, now I just need an entrance to the abyss, which is right there. Or, well, that's an exit to pandemonium. Um, either of those work, actually. Eh, it doesn't really matter which one I take, because uh, if I take the exit out, I can just find the abyss gate anyway, but I might just take, like, the proper abyss gate here. Because once I do the abyss, like, that will exit me out of pandemonium anyway. That's rage introspection. I mean, that's a nice curse, but... I believe one of those rings so I can swap, um, and the various hells. Okay. Straight up leave here if I wanted, but I just want to go down and get the rune. It's interesting it didn't tell me about the gate when I detected it with Ashton Zari. It told me about the gate when I actually saw it? That doesn't seem quite right. Oh. I guess you can always, uh... Always scan for detecting them. I don't know who's older that is. Oh my god, of course. Makes the most sense. I mean, you can find any older in here. You can even find, like, uh, Ignis olders and stuff. One of the ones that aren't usually in the temple and stuff. Uh, level four, yeah. Let's not go deeper, though. I will not, uh, ooh. Can't dig my way in there. Those walls are non diggable. I'm gonna have to go around to the actual front entrance, I think. I don't think I care about the Merfolk Avatar. I don't think it can uh, mesmerize me. Is that too many of those guys? Probably not. Let's just keep moving. And I can't really cast the amputation. Like, I got the spell, but, like, it's not going to work. Because um, I don't have the skill. Ah, stop degenerating me. It's fine. So now it's just a matter of time finding a portal out of here, which shouldn't take too long. It um, should appear more often when you've got the rune. Alright. Nothing wrong with getting sent to another region. There we go. There's the portal out of here. So I guess there's only one place to go now. That's hell. Um, This doesn't look too bad. What you can just do, you can just dig into here. I can throw some javelins if I need to as well, or emulate things, but for now I'll just let these guys come to me and blow them up. Come on. Often you'll like want to try and dig like a corner around, you'll awkwardly get into somewhere else, but you'll try to like dig to uh, make it so that. Things that can torment can't see you, but I don't think that's going to be a problem with this character. Being, not, being immune to torment in my lich form, after all. And if I see something that can hold damnation at me, um... Well, not hold it, but cool down damnation on me. There's still things they can do. I don't think I can do much to this guy, though. That's actually mildly awkward, um, because I can't even throw the javelins at it, because it's just behind bars. That's where the old portal projectile is useful, but the new um, dimensional bullseye is not. Actually, it might sometimes be useful with dimensional bullseye if you had an enemy, like another one you could shoot at. Alright. Um, I think one of the... Oh, wait. Which shells are going to be easy for this character? So I got good fire resist, I got good recall resist, um, I kind of have to fly at the same time as the resist electric, that's actually a problem I think, because <laughs> I need both of those in, oh, the cold hell. I think Tartarus is going to be okay, the only problem is going to be things with the spell dead, so tis its middles. Um, but I'll be immune to all the miasma, so it gets slowed by that, I'll be immune to, well, poison damage from it. Uh, you're immune to the torment, so I'll be doing decently. I 
It's kind of jank if there's anything else for fly like boots or something. I actually can't wear boots. Stop Queen's Thunder. It's okay. Hmm. And then there's a rig. That's basically my choices. Uh, hmm. What about resist the last rig? Is there another choices for that? Oh, there's an amulet. I cast mine already, damn I? I do have a backup one. What did I put on as my curse? Fortitude and cunning. Yeah. I mean, I could probably just smash my amulet or something when I want to get some uh, flight. And then go with the uh, resist electric one for a while and swap out the ring. I can't be petrified here, which could be a problem because, um,. If I start petrifying, I can't stop petrifying. Oh, actually, this might not be the right tell for me to be doing without the Yaris. Hmm. Although, I'm not necessarily ever getting the Yaris, so it's probably fine. But Yaris is definitely really helpful in here. Because you can get rid of the howls and stuff just by tying yourself with a Yaris. Oh, well, I guess, uh... Oh, there's a hell that I can't get rid of. Yeah, don't care about the tormentor. It's just the zitzimit, so it's the zitzimit also the real problems. Alright, next level. I'm making some decent progress here. It's actually kind of nice to be able to, like, uh, half the time to take where the staircases are. Except obviously not this time, because it's only got a limited range, I guess. And you also get like a lot of rocks in here, well, a decent number of rocks. So I'm probably not going to run out of rocks with this character. In fact, I've still got like 57 of them or something. I've had characters that end up with like 100 rocks after going through here, which is kind of funny. Uh... Oh, um, it's probably five being silent, so I can just go down. I know this place can definitely be a problem for mages, like when you go down the staircase and you end up dropping directly into silence, it can be really nasty. Think of silence? Oh, this is on my staircase, alright. I mean, I don't really have like a lot of god abilities, it's probably not bad being silence. It does mean I can't like teleport and stuff, but... In terms of characters to be silenced, this character is not a bad one to be silenced. And it's the last level. Nah, whatever. I'll throw my javelin where I want to, but, eh. Gotta keep an eye out for the boss chambers. The boss chambers are usually, like, fairly recognizable. There's only a very limited number of different uh, boss chambers that you do get. Wow, that guy really didn't care about his friend. I guess his friend was considered too wimpy or something that didn't mind shooting damnation at. Because that is the thing. Like, if uh, if an enemy considers his friend, like, too wimpy, it will happily catch you, even if it hits his friend. Um, I don't know if this place is really worth doing. It's just a treasure vault. And I got money. I got 10,000 gold. And nothing to spend on apart from maybe some books. Oh, acrobat regen willpower. Hold up. That's... I forgot to drop all the stuff outside. Um... Right, I see. I really should have dropped something. My day to get rid of this corrosion int one. Uh... It's face, but I don't really need a face. That's fine. Well... No, I actually just straight up don't need a face. I will be mucking around with my title later on, but that's not going to require faith. That's going to require me to break some items before I um, ascend. Like, on level one of the dungeon type thing. Uh, in fact, what I should get right now is I should get my um, invocations up so I get the right title. He said it was in the boss chambers with the silence in it. Um, it almost certainly is, and it's almost certainly the rune, like, right there. And that uh, red spot's almost certainly Erich Kegel, which means I'm going to have to find the Silent Wraith. 
Yeah, this is the uh, boss chambers. Who is this? Oh, Dread Lich. All right, I'll pull it back. That way, if it paralyzes me, there's nothing else to cause problems. Um, where is this outrage though? Come on. Man, this is uh, not what I want to be seeing because it means I can't teleport out here. I mean, I know Eric Giego, like, uses the silence himself and stuff, uh, except I actually can teleport out here because there's a teleport trap. All right. Um, I gotta start the teleport, and then I gotta throw some rocks at her because uh, I don't want her to, like, silence me up. All right, because that didn't quite work. But the idea is that I can kind of split her up from her to the middles, and then I can fight her on the road. The theory these guys can dispel dead. They do have to get reasonably close to do it, but they do have a little bit of range. I think that's all it's, it's middle. She summons it in some, but no. Yeah, like that. I think I might start another teleport. Um Oh, I almost got it. Uh I should probably be healed up by the time I get back in here, but oh well. Ah. She's actually not fully healed. Hey, there we go. That's better. She didn't even do a sound, so I was kind of scared of something she didn't end up doing. Okay, 11 runes. Uh, definitely counting up with those ones. Let's go out of here. No need to be around here, so I can get, um, I can get Gehenna. Hold up. There was, there was stuff I wanted to do. I wanted to drop the tower shield until I got, uh, more chart armors. Drop the brilliance because I'm probably not going to need those. Um, I'm going to need the Ambrosias. Or it's hard to so hard to use, but sometimes you can use them. Like you add your Lich Form, then you use the potion, then you put your Lich Form back on type situation. Uh, I've got to blow up my Ambla because I have a better one anyway. Gonna leave me rather low in curses, but I'm sure that's fine. Yeah, okay, that looks fine. So I could go get um I could go get myself it was resist electric ammo or some description. It's basically just resist electric. Alright. I can swap out the resist electric amulet. I can swap out a rig of flight. Resist is still fine. A missing resist code, that's fine, whatever. Let's go to Cosinus with those resists. It's love to be able to fly because it makes it like, getting up to these creatures so much easier. And actually, one of the important things is getting to the side so you can dig into the walls. Um, that looks like a boomerang kind of place. Well, like all the water around where I lose all my items. All right. Can't do much of that guy decides to petrify me apart from just go up, I guess. Uh. Can't really get it to cover with these shrikes. I just got to fight them out of the open, I think. Oh, that's all right. I find it kind of funny how Simulacra has got this like float through the water, but uh, an ice beast can. Because they they both made it like ice, right? But I guess, <laughs> I guess that's just how it is. This is actually one of the better, well, it's one of the tough hells, but it's also one of the better hells for this character. Those low quality ice, it just sinks. Now you can tell the quality of the ice. <laughs> or it sinks or floats. I mean, you'd think that ice should, uh, should float. Maybe they just don't know how to paddle through the water or something. 
Uh, I could take a prop choke point, but I don't think I need to. I think this is good enough. Well, that doesn't matter if I walk into the ice. All right. I kind of like how the Necro mutation actually makes my troll claws even more effective. Because I guess I'm like the draining brand, I think, which is kind of nice. And it also increased their base damage. Yeah, like I'm doing 92 damage, which is actually quite a lot. Um, all right. Go down. This is fine. I try to get to the edge of the map. Can't really dig in apart from like straight, but oh well. It's not a perfect choke point, but it's good enough. Usually you have to dig like the little diagonal ones to block vision, but I don't really this time around because I don't care if I can be seen by a guy that can torment. That's usually why I'll try to like dig the choke points. It's like, oh, you can't, can't torment me if you can't see me. Uh, the choke points are really good with these caustic strikes. And well, everything else for that matter, actually. All right, well, time to go down to level six. These diggable, these look diggable. Okay, they didn't look diggable, but they are. And I know, like, uh, it's often level seven that's the undiggable walls. Um, because this right to force you to do the do the thing like the way the game wants you to do it, like instead of just digging straight to the boss or something. Yeah, these are the normal choke points you end up digging in here, the ones where only one thing can see you at a time. Uh, oh, the, there's a love trap. I mean, it's good that the uh, actions are protected me from that one, but sometimes you don't want to be protected from, like, the... Um, what sort of traps are they? The shaft traps. Like, no, I actually wanted to go down a level or multiple levels. Can you still use uh, Shadow to make shortcuts? Yeah, you can. In fact, Shadow makes uh, pretty good work in this place. It kills most things, um, as well as making you shortcuts. The only thing it doesn't kill is uh, um, these guys. Ice feeds. Oh, and also the Shrikes. So it could also be nice to have like Firestorm as well or something, but I don't know. It's usually alright if you have the Death Talisman. I might back up a bit here. Something should come around this corner when it's ready. Usually I don't end up like pushing forwards that much because usually you get kind of ambushed here, but this is doing alright. Yeah, usually I have to like retreat back way more than this. Um. Although that's often the uh, Ice Fiend's fault that I'm having to retreat back, and I don't have to worry about those ones this time around. Uh, do I want to, like, cast up my Ablet? I kind of do, actually. But I'm going to smash it and just put another one later on, so yeah, let's, uh, let's curse it up. I wish that device has helped not really that much. I mean, it gets a little bit of evocation. The shape really doesn't matter too much. That's all right. Uh, it helps with the other skills a bit as well. Oh, this boss is also nice to melee, so I'm going to try and throw, like, javelin, not javelin, spoon rings at him or something, because he's probably going to be above water. Um, I don't have anything to, like, uh, tell me out against him, because I know some characters are, like, Gozag, and I just buff up and it feels like cheating, or I'm a uh, Sith Mata character and I just challenge magic and it feels kind of like cheating. Oh, there he is. In fact, he's on dry land, so I can just throw rocks at him. Uh, he's decently wounded. I should be able to just slow him by attacking him, so... There we go. Slow to weaken, which is going to help me against his melee attacks, and he's dead. Uh, 
I was that Dryden that the, the, the um, ice giant was using anyway. Plus nine trying to freeze him. It seemed reasonably effective. All right, there's my 12th rune. Doing pretty well for runes, but let's get out of here. Nothing left for me to do in here. So the next hell to do is the fiery one, because I want the flight with that one as well. Actually, is it worth just shattering the damn lot right now? I have no resist electric. What's the other one give? Regen, Acrobat. I think it's, yeah. I guess worth just blowing it up. Well, it didn't say curse that long, but I don't need the resist electric anymore, so I can put this one on. Uh, well, the resist electric at the same time as flight. And I can curse this one as soon as I get a chance. Um... I could dig further in if I wanted to, like, dig a proper choke point, but that's going pretty well. Yeah, this extra regen is definitely helping me stay healthy to add to my troll regen. Ooh. I can go this way. Uh. Yeah, I thought I'm going to get me with damnation with this creature's next to me, but I'm not sure about this. Not a perfect choke point. It's really not a perfect choke point, and I'm on fire. A rune level transition. Yeah, it certainly is. Um, I hope this guy just follows me instead of trying to do something else. Oh, I did try to do something else. It does damnation. Woo. Ooh, I'm actually really wounded right now. Um. That's a problem. I don't have a good way of healing up right now. I don't know if they can help me out. Um, how do I get minus scroll? Oh, this place. That's right. This place does have minus scroll. I'm gonna bring out some little spiders, but I'm not sure about that. Oh, I didn't really do much. Um. I don't delay these guys like enough to get some health back. Got a friend, yeah, I could get one of them to disappear. I'll just try to delay these guys. Um Oh, I got me with the damnation. This is actually a big problem. Because now we don't have enough health. It's not room for like phantom mode. This is actually really, really bad. Can I like paralyze this guy? No, it's immune to that, isn't it? And it's immune to the Siphon Essence, isn't it? That's... Uh, that's really bad. Um, I try to blind it with some light, but I'm really worried here. I wasn't really its melee attacks I was worried about. We've got it slowed, which helps a little bit, but I'm still really bad at my health. Okay. Oof. 36 health, that's not great. Um, I'm weakened right now, which is also making things a bit worse. I do have the fire resist at least against the salamander, but... Oh no, it's another one of these um, brimstone feeds. I'm gonna try and blind this one as well, but that doesn't help with their damnation. I've got it slowed. Man, where'd it go? Oh, it's blinded, so it went around the corner. That's excellent. That gives me a little bit of health back. Um, thank goodness. No, that was that was way too close to just straight up dying. Like, if that had hit me with a few damnations in a row, I would have been dead. With nothing I could really do about it. Yeah, that's the problem with this hell. You like, really, really don't have a lot of options when things go wrong. Like, no potions. I mean, uh, for me, because I got my form on. And no scrolls. Um...
It's actually kind of uh, better go through here you know, as like a branchy or something because then you can hop to the walls and then dig in and that always seems to work really nicely. Because uh, you might minus scrolls, but that doesn't stop the hop. Oh, these areas usually are fairly nasty. I might just leave them and go down. All right. Where's the boomerang? I should uh, blow this guy up before it gets up to me. Hang around near the edge of the map, somewhere where I can dig in if I need to. Um, on the nice scrolls region of hell, have you considered jump really high <laughs> restriction? Yeah, at least there's no jump really high restriction. That would be nasty. For um, we could all Barachi. Because by the time Barachi gets here, they've got their extended hop as well. All right, let's go down. I feel weakened, that's fine. Uh, so one thing I can do before I fight the boss, and in fact I should do before I fight the boss, is uh, take off my neck mutation, drink a potion of haste and might, and then uh, put it back on. <laughs> Yep, oh, there was a there was a door that let these guys in, but it didn't really matter. I was just trying to get somewhat of a choke point. It was still somewhat of a choke point. I bring these guys to the edge of the map, which is kind of working. Oh of course these the walls aren't diggable, so saying there saying it here is not necessarily the best. Um There's, there could be some really nasty ambush levels when going down the staircases in here because uh, some of them always look like they need you to use a blink. Um, and you just straight up can't. Alright. Like there's one that puts you next to an Italian island and other stars you surrounded, that sort of thing. I mean, I guess Bob's is always going to have that problem of not being able to blink. Um... In fact, Formas says you can kind of play without using any potions or scrolls. It's harder, but, like, it's doable. I did manage to win a Formas without any potions or scrolls. Alright, there we go. That's the way down. So this is the last level. Now these walls are going to be digging while they... That's fine. Oh, do I actually have... What, do I want to curse them? Am I looking for those? I actually kind of am. I don't want this particular one, the sorcery, um, whatever the other thing is. But I am looking for one. The case is 19, I hope that maxes it out, because I guess my other skills are quite high right now. Uh, these fiery levels, it's actually kind of hard to figure out what the boss is, which is sometimes a little bit of a problem when it comes to, like, um... Drinking buffs before you fight the boss. Because there's usually two identical areas on opposite sides of the map, one of which has the boss in it. Um, Elements of Cunning is also not what I'm after, but I am after a uh, curse. Do I really need fly on this level? Not really. Um, could think about swapping it, actually. No, I'll keep the fly on. It might actually be useful because there is lava. All right, is that that's not the boss? Surely not. It's not detecting as dangerous enough. That's actually a thing about um Ashland's area. I might actually be able to detect whether there's a boss behind or not. How does this actually looks like the boss chamber? The boss chamber might be further on. Um, uh, maybe. Oh, that's the boss. Oh, I'm not going to be able to pull my buffs, am I? I won't be able to slow the boss, but that's a bit of a shame not be able to buff. Um, I might just, like, mirror out the boss just to help out a little bit. Because I really don't want that to go horribly wrong, because there's no escape, right? I am going to haste. All right. Nice. So let's just get out of here, but I did get the right side for the boss. 
Come on, keep moving. It's not like that guy can even get to me. It's behind a teeth or a wall. Alright, so we've got the IT to do some Tomb of Ancients. Um, I might go to the tomb. Yeah, how good am I going to be in here? I mean, I don't exactly have the best attacks, right? Like, I don't have the most AOE stuff. I do have the Lich Fob, which is fine. So, it's not going to be, like, super easy too, but it's also not going to be the hardest tomb ever. That's my javelins. I'm actually getting kind of low on javelins, but they can't be good with these guys, seeing they summon stuff in. Oh, and the um, royal mummies as well summon stuff, so there's a lot of things that summon in here. Mali combat companions. Oh, a lot of these skills are like slightly short. Actually, I'm not sure if training that would make much sense. Um, so for some reason, the evocators are the limit on it. Should have a limit on it. Okay. I mean, it's not the best skills ever, but I might just put this on my amulet. Also, I can probably swap my rig. AC resist electric doesn't sound terrible. Okay, got my AC back. This should be good. I don't need to fly in here. There's like no water, no uh, lava. Not unless you make lava by doing like, I don't know, Quaslol's disaster area or something. Not that I can. I'm not a Quaslol worshiper. I think I blow some of the stuff up with a bit of fire. There we go, that uh, stopped them surrounding me quite as much, because I am slowed, it's not ideal. Oh, the tentacles brought in by the, oh, by the, like, trap. These traps can't be a problem. Especially when they decide to petrify you and you have no way to deal with that, because my yard's 100% failure. Um... Alright, well, I can use scrolls again, which I've got to remember, because they, they can be pretty useful in here. Uh, I'll just trigger the alarm trap. I don't think this, that's going to matter too much. You can see all the mummies hiding in the walls, right? There's all the, all the smiley little faces. I can probably avoid those ones, though, I reckon. It's by teleporting on the second level. Alright, well, I'm ready to go down, um, except not really. What's blocking? Oh, okay. Sure, it's fine. It's just a matter of trying repetitively to get past this trap. Uh, you know what? I should put on the buffs before I go down. That's definitely the case. So I should put on uh, Might. A little bit of invisibility is harmless. A melee conversion for you is actually kind of nice, but I don't think I want to curse up there. Actually, I think I want to curse up that ring because I don't really have any other rings to swap to. All right, so um, I'm missing my haste, right? I think that's it. And then I can put on my form again, definitely, and go down. Pop the revelation so I can find out what the staircase is. These ones are just fell dead, so they can do a reasonable amount of damage. The others can uh, summon a bunch of stuff, but... This is not the worst I've uh, ever seen. I'll just do another emulation, start some of these guys blowing up. That's probably time to hit up. Um, I've lost some of my buffs, but I still have the other ones on. Alright. Now it's just a matter of cleaning up the few remaining guys, but I don't think there's any serious threats left. The second level usually isn't too bad. Like, it's not as many creatures as the third level. That's where, you, where the game starts getting a bit serious with the mummy spam. I'm pretty sure I had a ton of teleports left, so this is almost certainly going to put me on the other side. Okay, two attempts, three attempts, that's pretty quick. Yeah, it's other things like five, ten attempts, but I, I had the scrolls <laughs> just in case it did this time round as well. 
Can't javel in this, guys, but I don't think I really need to. Alright, ready for the third level, but I should buff up, so I've got the... Again, I should do the haste, the invisibility, the might, all the normal stuff. Um, I've got haste, invisibility... No, I don't have the haste. There we go, that's the haste. I'll pop the revelation so you can see where the traps are. Um, oh, it's also dispersal traps, okay. I see how this is. I think it might be best hitting this side. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I don't mind setting off an alarm trap. Fortunately, those Zot traps are going to get set off, but <laughs> whatever. If I start petrifying, it might be time to come up. Um... Feels weird being faster here, although I think they're just more off. So if you used to be normal speed or slowed. Hey, look at it on the other side of that wall. <laughs> All the mummies congregating. Yeah, they're, they're having trouble finding their way into here, which is uh, kind of big, big, a nice slow trickle, which is exactly what this character needs. Because some of the mages want them like all at once, sort of shining one characters and stuff, but this character is definitely more of a slow trickle kind of character. Uh... Oh, there's a little guy there with a pole up. I might try and get rid of that one. Um... I think it's probably time to go up. My body's decomposing a bit because I got too contaminated by the Zot Trap. But that's not a big deal. I'm still not uh, too drained. So let's put the buffs back on. Um, Do this all over again? Okay. Where's my burning? There we go. I've only got one normal javelin. But I've got some silver javelins to start the flames here. Uh... Might just head, uh... Oh, come on, yes. Head this way, but... Unfortunately, it's not, like, perfect for going up because there's so many dispersal traps, but it does get me closer to one of the staircases, at least. Hey, it's a big group of guys again. Let's try another revelation. It's slowly working through all the guys in here. Uh, half of these things are summoned anyway. Alright, that's better. Um, you know, one more revelation. At least one more revelation is needed in here. Uh, the Benu guy which is attacking me is immune to the, um, fire. And it has Holy Wrath weapons, but apart from that, it's not too bad. Alright, time to get up. I think there's not too many guys left. I'm pretty sure that's the majority of the guys. Uh, I can't remember this resist corrosion rig. Wait, what was that resist electric thing? It's a rig with three slag and a fly. That could have been useful a little while back when I was trying to get a fly and a resist electric at the same time, but hey, I didn't know what I was going to find in here, so I didn't do this branch first. Uh, that is good old rift. Um... Oh, the resist electric magic regen fire resist ammo? I probably don't need that one. It's also got a fly on it. Okay. I don't need EOS. Um... There we go. That's a rude, but I, I missed out on the jam. I was definitely too slow for that one. Eh, let's keep it going out of here. I think I'm basically dumb with mummies. So I got the Iron City of Death. I don't think I want to swap around before I do that. Uh, yeah, it's like it's kind of nice, but no, I'll just go with the armor. Let's, uh, let's go with that. Let's go to... What is the Iron City of Death anyway? I'll just go to Hell and then find it from there, I think. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Be nice if it a corrosion resistance. Hmm. I don't know. I'll try without it. I'll see how this feels.
Right on my melee. I don't even have anything to curse off. It's not even the best curse either. All right. Your magic map basically as much as I like a thing. Um. All right. Well, the eye goals are fine. I think my damage is reasonably good, like eighty-eight. Yeah, it has been slightly higher previously, but not much higher. Oh, because the corrosion. No, that's actually probably as high as that. If you don't count the corrosion that you get naturally from beating this level of hell. Ah, uh, yeah, no, I'll pop a revelation. It's not like I got anywhere else to use them. Yeah, it saved me some time on that level. That's kind of mean looking. I don't know if a condenser phase is going to do much, but I'll set one off. Um, oh, that's alright. Um... Alright, that'll do. Mm. Nah, wait for this guy to get a bit closer. Something might uh, figure out to get around the top there, but oh well. That'd almost be a good spot for javelins, you know? I might just back up a little bit. Maybe not the silvered variety. Alright, that's probably fine. Hey, there's a thing that's finally figured out again round the top. How's my armor class in here? 34, which is a little bit, uh, a little bit small, but it'll do. Alright, that got through that ambush, but there was a lot of getting uh, dispersed around, which I was kind of worried about when I was initially getting dispersed. I need to wait those guys up, I can just keep on going down. Character isn't exactly the most stealthy, but they, um... I don't seem terrible at it, either. I gotta get all these guys thrown at me, aren't I? Mm. I gotta get rid of this guy. Come on, there's gotta be a few more javelins here. There we go. Alright, now these guys are no problems. I could just get them at a choke point and punch them to death. There we go. Alright, next level. Uh... Nothing here yeah, that's too much of a worry. Yeah, I mean, there's a little bit of damnation. Oh, it's one of these guys again. Throw it. Oh, I didn't step forward. I wanted to step forward. They're gonna just throw some javelins at it. I'm not even killing it, am I? It's gonna keep on. It's gonna keep on like uh, getting me surrounded here if I don't take it out. There we go. Okay, now I'm at a choke point where I can fight these guys properly. Oh, also DJ rating. Probably because I got set off that uh, Zolt Trap, I reckon. <laughs> they did kind of lead those guys through the Zolt Trap. Alright. Last level, let's go down. Oh, I should have revealed a Love Trap. I mean, that's uh, mildly helpful, I guess. I kind of explored like most of the levels, so I don't know if anything would have come along, but hey, it's like mildly helpful. God, that guy's slowing, but it's still giving me a lot of damnation. Alright, let's uh, magic map out this level. Where do I need to be? I need to go up this way. And head basically straight towards the boss, I reckon. Where are these guys? Okay, these are the shrikes that I thought I needed to resist corrosion from, but maybe not. Um, I haven't just met many, many shrikes, which may be a good thing. I do have my willpower right, right, yep, so I can't be paralyzed, but that should be fine. Uh, 
don't need to go that way. I need to go the other way to get to the boss. And uh, I think it was Magic Rapping that revealed that, but Nash and Zari probably would have helped anyway if I didn't know. Um, already. Right, which way do I need to go? I just need to go this way. It's not that far to the boss. Oh, there's a dragon? Summon of Hell? Um, I remember this one. Nah, I'll just bring in the spiders. Oh, I didn't even get it netted up, but that's fine. It fills up the spaces as the main thing rather than actually doing that much. I want to see model of these guys. Um, I still got 200 health, so I'm still fine. It's just their damnation is really nasty. One of those is the boss, I don't know what the other one is. It wasn't the Iron Giant, that's, no, that's weaker. Hey, that was the boss, okay. Let's bring it around this corner, then I can throw some rocks at it, but I'll just, like, uh, mirror it up. Oh, I'll send it back immediately. But, hey, I can throw a rock at it, it'll probably move up to me pretty soon. I forgot to put on my buffs, didn't I? Um, I think I might actually teleport out of here. That's way too much damnation. Yeah, just straight up stuff. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna have to go this way. I think. There we go. Like you can head back this way. This time I'll remember to put on like my haste and my mind and stuff, and it should make this boss fight pretty trivial. I don't actually need to be going this way, but I guess I can clear it out. Um, and I probably should just so that I'm less likely that stuff sneaks up behind me. What on earth? There's a lot of things in there. Anyway, um, let's quickly take off this death talisman. Haste up. I think these guys will see invisible, so I won't do that. I'll just haste up and bind up and put on the death talisman and head back around this corner. Oh, welcome in the Tritsky. How's it going? Thanks for the raid there. What were you playing today? You're playing Dungeon Crawl, right? What sort of character did you have gone? I don't have the mirror anymore. That's fine. This guy is slowed. How's it going? It's going great. Yeah, I've got a good run going here. Pretty solid, um, troll wanderer, I think. Let's see if I can go. Oh. <laughs> Let's see if I can get a shout out working here. So everyone can go follow the Terinsky. He streams cruel every well this day. So every um Sunday for him, every Monday for me. At least almost every Monday. Oh, we've got a staff. Well, it's not necessarily cruel, but it's usually cruel, right? That you stream the Terinsky. I think I've seen you stream a couple of other things. Get to the exit here. Oh, well, I guess that worked. Uh, oh, don't do that. I'm trying to look at my runes, so I don't need to get any more runes. I might as well just go to uh, Zot 5, grab my rune, get out of here. So I'm Prince of Secrets. I haven't figured out exactly what title I want, but like, oops, I need to be somewhere else. Probably not Prince of Secrets. Oh, you're yeah, crawling at a troll thrower going as well? They went to No Wonder and then met an unfortunate end and Zod. Oh, you got really far. Man, those unfortunate ends and Zod, I've had a few of those recently, and it's always like such a shame when you're like doing really well and you just don't survive in Zod or something. Oh, the troll chaos knight. I mean, that makes sense why I died. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if I, I don't think I've done a troll chaos knight. All right, let's get this off and get out of here. Uh. Might try to set up on one of these teleport traps, see if that does the trick. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Where's my fog? You can often get a lot quicker with the fog. Oh, I can still see down there. Will it spread a little bit more? That's almost better. Hey, there we go. Got out. This character should have a really easy time of it on the orb run. What do you mean I'm already there? Go to Dungeon Zero? 
Yeah, they they've done fifteen runes. They they feel pretty powerful. Like they're heading for ninety two damage. Um, I already barely got the like invocations as my high skill. I guess actually no, I only got skills up to twenty five. I think so. Actually, it's it's based on the base value of these skills. This might be way further ahead than I thought. Uh, show me the base. Oh, that's not it. I don't really see the base values. It's uh, it's underscore. There we go. Yeah, my highest on the scale is like 23 point something, so actually quite considerably highest on the... Um... Invocations, I probably don't really need to keep that one going. But it doesn't matter, I'm almost finished anyway. How fast is this pandemonium look? Can I just outrun it? Nah, it's 160% speed. <laughs> Although, with these other guys around here, I kind of can just outrun it. Alright, what am I on? Dungeon level 6. I make it some pretty good progress here. I believe I've got a bunch of blinking scrolls. They haven't really used a lot. I've got like 8 or something. Uh, what title do I need? It's... Let me go check. I'll see which Ash and Zari titles I've had. In fact, I might just go... Uh... I just go query the bot, see which one they've had. I've had Omnificent, right? I should have. Yeah, I've had that one. I have Prince of Secrets, okay. Which is what I've currently got, right? Prince of Secrets, okay. Um, if I have Illuminatus? Doesn't look like it. And now these are rate specific. So yeah. Illuminati oh wait, no, I've had Illuminatus, haven't I? Oracle? Have I had an Oracle on three of Sobiety? Uh Don't think so. Okay, cool. So I just gotta get down to three of Sobiety before I went here to get a unique title, so that's easy enough. I just go blow off all my stuff. <laughs> it feels completely wrong, but it's I should do it. Um yeah, let's start with the start with the ablet. Okay, what else can I blow up? I mean, I guess I'll blow up one of the rings. I'm a luminatus. I'm gonna blow up one more thing, and hopefully, it's supposed to be on the right piety. I'm an oracle. Excellent. I'll just double check that I haven't had oracle before. Uh, no games for me with oracle. Excellent. Let's get out of here. Oh, there's actually one off the exit. Well, that was a that was a really fun game. I feel, think going Ashton Zari was a really good choice. That was actually I kind of planned on going Ashton Zari. Then I got a faded altar, and it gave me Ashton Zari. So like that just kind of worked. No, the gear was good. I I got to throw a decent number of rocks, which was nice. That was kind of the whole point of that character. It was a pretty quick character, like four hours ten minutes for fifteen rune game. There's no way those gems weren't broken. I guess it would say somebody had tagged if they were tagged, right? I mean, I know the crypt one must have broken. Alright. I had like, uh, I don't know, 30 turns when I went and picked it up, and there was no way I made it out of the crypt in that much time. 